The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same I'm, fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy. Scotty, you ain't going to believe this. What? I just typed your name into Google Maps, and you know where it says your location is? Huh? On my last fucking nerve. <laughs> All right? <laughs> it's warm out. That ice is real fucking thin. Watch yourself. Right. Uh-huh. Uh, but while Derek is out of town, we have a reoccurring guest on this show, and he is uh, very popular, very obnoxious, and has a huge gambling problem. His name is none other than Steve Peters. Steve Peters. Thank you. I don't have any witty, quippy roasts for you right now. That's because you like me, okay? Yeah, we're, I do. We're, we're good buddies. I do, that's yeah. true. See? That's true. <laughs> we're turning this show around. It's well, never, it. never going to happen. You know yeah. everybody's going to By the me. way, do you mean go the fuck home? Right. I would love to do that. Let's keep this nice and tight. A nice tight five. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't do my, my nickname that we came up with last episode. Jumbo Shrimp Cock. That's, that's, I forgot to do that. Okay. I got shirts on order, and uh, they will be here, um, yeah, soon. I don't know when. Nice. Uh, yeah. Anyways. Are um, you happy with that sentence? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to start over? Nah, I'm good. Right. No, I'm perfectly fine. Because because already this fucking show's off the rails. <laughs> but anyways, guys, if this Trip is very... Cock. <laughs> I don't remember anything from last week. Uh, I was in such a fucking blind rage over your goddamn sunglasses. <laughs> and guess what? They're back. Uh, Are they? Yeah. I couldn't tell. No kidding. Uh, but I, I took away the, the pompadour haircut. The pomade got me in a lot of trouble, so I... Uh, you know, I figured I'd at least cover how it up did, with how a How did that get you into trouble? What uh, You made fun of me on a regular basis, which I guess is every episode anyways. It doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. Sure. You, so, now i got to make fun of that fucking hat. Okay, fine. It's covering up uh, absolutely beautiful hair or head of hair. That's I like to think you still have it styled underneath there. <laughs> I do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Of course you do. Yeah. Anyways, uh, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of these podcasts, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and also very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, 99 Point nine percent of them are uh, targeted towards me, and I'm okay with it. But this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here, and thank you, and goodbye. Anyways, holy shit, we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. I'm offended by that language. Can I get the fuck out of here? <laughs> no, because you've already <laughs> used some of it, so I know you're I know, lying. and I'm offended by myself. You're lying. I really should take myself to task. No. I'm going to go home and flog. Anyways... Uh, <laughs> that's my best. That's my that, best. Quality. That is that is his best quality. The <laughs> ill-timed rim shot, <laughs> dubbing yeah. something a zinger that isn't even funny. I, I like it. I yeah. know it's good. I like it. Uh, but anyways, we got some stuff to go over. We got some sports. We're gonna kind of breeze through those today. Uh, but we are going to get back to the ick. Uh, I saw a lot of positive uh, reinforcement for that segment. We've got real shit. Horse By shit. that you mean the one fucking comment. <laughs> Uh, three. There were three. Oh, of were them. there? There was three. Shut okay. up. Um, One, two of them though were bitching about your hair. Okay, <laughs> saying that I look like Eric mm-hmm. Church. And guess what? They're fucking right. I don't know who Eric Church he's is. He's a he's a country singer, man. It's uh, and he's good looking, and well, I'm good looking. That's ha- why. Are, are you Eric Church? Because we always have considered you mus- musician first. Absolutely. Bull, bull rider first, then bull musician. rider, then musician. Of course. You just got country in your blood, man. That's damn right. Look I at do. them boots. Absolutely. Uh, but we got real shit, horse shit, bad advice with Jeremy. Overrated, underrated 
submitted questions and preguntas, and, and as always, a uh, draft and a shitty situation to uh, wrap up the show. But before we get on to that, uh, we're going to say uh, and give you some stories about what happened to us over the last week slash a uh, couple of weeks since we've seen Steve. Yeah. Uh, we call this our week yeah. week recap. So, Steve, what you been doing since the last time we saw you, bud? So, there's preguntas. There's just questions in Spanish. Yes. Yes, that's exactly right. what it is. I like that. I thought yeah. you spoke I, uh, Spanish. I feel you like go by a just, Spanish name. I feel yeah. like it's just questions and questions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, uh, this last week, I did uh, some stand-up comedy you at did. the old Vorshay's Cocktail Lounge. That uh-huh. was good. That was a that I've was heard a that's a good time. place to have events. I did, it's too. nice place. Yeah. yeah, I've tried to church it up a little bit nice. so people like to go there. Did you have did gospel you bring singers? Every once Tell in a while. Tell me you brought in a fucking yeah. uh, steam organ. Yeah. Yeah. Or, that's, or, that was the, that's the, they're bringing that in by crane next Whoopi week. Whoopi Goldberg Sweet. leading a choir and that stuff. Nice. Oh, yeah. I would love yeah. that. That would yeah. be awesome. Yeah. But uh, no, I, I just did some stand up stuff and I uh, last, so it was Juneteenth. Uh, Juneteenth last year, I won a all black comedy competition in Little Rock, Arkansas. And please, we, you were the so only white I guy. I was literally the only white guy <laughs> yeah. on Juneteenth in Little Rock, Arkansas. It was called the Night Owls competition. It's an Apollo style hey. competition, and they are not friendly if they don't like you. But I like got money thrown at me on stage and won. <laughs> I got a trophy. It's fucking off. Awesome. That's fucking. So great. this one wasn't as good. I haven't <laughs> I haven't told many people this, but I'm pregnant with Nick Cannon's baby. Is that true? So yeah. Yeah. How bad? Uh, Nick can okay. And girls pee out of their butt. Okay. So we're fine. <laughs> you know you know that awful feeling when somebody who you like really respect and admire their talent turns out to be a fucking prick and it's like this deep sinking feeling. Oh know? yeah. I felt the same way with Nick Cannon when I found out he's actually a pretty good guy. Mm-hmm. Oh. Because I have no respect for him at all. Really? And I don't think he's the least bit talented, but it turns out he's a really good, nice guy. And well, that's my it's baby like, daddy. No, I wanted to hate him. Yeah. For, for that reason. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. he's your baby's daddy. I love him. Um, but no, it turns out he's a really nice guy. He is. He's a good dude. Why? What? Do you know him, Scotty? No. No, but I have something to go into with with that. I'm segueing into it on well, my week. By all means, you're the fucking host. It's not Steve's time or nothing. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Shoot. Go ahead. We have talked more shit on this guy. Well, probably not. Go more on than now, anybody. Scotty. Yeah, I know. But we've talked about this guy. We've talked shit on this guy uh, quite often. Um, I can't hear you. Your glasses are too reflective. I am going to throw a beer bottle at you. That's fine. You can't see me because it's so fucking dark behind him. Sunglasses. <laughs> it's fine. Probably true. Ray uh, Charles. Yeah. I. Yeah. I'm blind. <laughs> But anyways, um, no, I, I I did watch a podcast that I really liked that had a guest on that I was I was actually I'm sorry I didn't mean to like yeah, mark you up just your my leg. That's, <laughs> sorry. That's what we I do. got pregnant by Nick Cannon and you're like oh <laughs> and I'm you jealous. Can't get any more pregnant? Uh, but no, I watched a podcast with an interview uh, with a guy that I legitimately before that interview I hated with a passion, mm-hmm. and his name is Logan Paul. And after watching this interview, I currently have a change of heart. I am very impressed with that motherfucker. That dude has legitimately turned a YouTube channel into a uh, multi-million dollar deal. That's my friend Willie Mack. Yeah. And he, uh, he is... It is it Jake or Logan that's... Which one's a legit fighter? Uh, Logan. Lo- or, no, I'm sorry. No, Jake. Jake is Jake. Jake is, yeah. yeah. And then yeah. is Jake. his younger, Logan, yeah, Logan, younger, younger brother. Just, like, he's the fucking sideshow act that keeps winning. But the thing, is, yeah. but the thing is, is yeah. he did he yeah. did an exhibition fight against uh, Money Mayweather. Yeah, and that was a fucking farce. Okay, but he yeah. he won. He won a couple of rounds, um, at least in his he, eyes. Mayweather let but, him. Uh, probably. And, and you know what? I don't really care. It it's was not a even, side show. It's, it's a freak show. It, well, and that's kind of what he is, and that's how he makes uh, money off of this shit is, mm-hmm. is because he's such a good businessman. And that's so, what I'm angry about, that he has more money than I do. Okay, well, you know. By like almost $18. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh, but no, it was a pretty good interview, and so I'm I'm kind of on the fence still. But I I'm I've kind of got to support him a little bit. After crypto taking a shit this week, he might actually not have a lot of money. <laughs> he might no, but I guess Mayweather owes him like shit loads of money. Really? For yeah, what? from that fight. No from, shit. No shit. He he has not been paid, and uh, I guess Mayweather's being like drugged through the mud like he normally is because Mayweather's kind of broke too. Well, he can't fucking read. He doesn't know where <laughs> to send it. What do you to? mean he's broke? It's in his fucking name, Money Mayweather. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Sure. No Money Mayweather. You can't have that fucking nickname. I know. 
Jesus. Yeah. But no, I had a I had an extreme action packed week. I got to see Steve do uh, stand up. I think he did what? 10 15 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes, something like that. Yeah, and uh very impressed. You did a very good job. Thank you. Um, I appreciate that. You were kind of the mid to uh Scott Schaefer. I was the feature so, act. The feature. I guess. Okay, I'm I don't sorry. know what you call it. Uh, but yeah. I was the last guy before the headline. Right. And uh, Scott was cool, very very yeah. funny guy. Yeah. I had I got to meet him and mm-hmm. congratulate him as well. Sweet um, kid. But fun fucking place to have a comedy show, man. Yeah, it really I was. feel like there should be more live events there. Yeah, I know of one that's Help coming us out. up. What what is his hometown? Uh, um, Cal- is it Caldwell? Caldwell. Okay, I think it's Caldwell. so. You're wrong, Scotty. Yeah. I thought it was Scotty. Cun- I thought it was Cunningham, and that's no. where Jeremy's from. Nope, definitely not Cunningham. Don't tell people okay. that. It was. Uh, it oh, was I didn't know that. Called. I think it's Caldwell. <laughs> You've, you've said the, where what's, you're from. What's anyway, southwest normally I tell people it's none of the fucking business. Southwest of Wichita? Yeah, on the border of Oklahoma and Kansas. I don't know. Can Cold I, water? No. Oh, no, clear no. water? No, clear no. waters. That's no. east. I that's, think it's Caldwell. Okay. Well, I think just, that's what it is. Fuck it. We're, we're just going to go with that. that. Yeah. Uh, but it was. It was a really good time. Uh, thank you to all of you guys who have already purchased tickets. We're already halfway to selling this bitch yes. out. So this, it, this is probably going to fucking happen. For sure going to happen. Why don't the we show, let Steve finish his fucking week? The show <laughs> is going to... Oh, no. I, I'm pretty done. Yeah, you're done. Go oh, good. Yeah, I'm pretty done. Yeah. But uh, I'd just like to rather hear Steve talk. I don't okay. know what else I had. Than you. No, but we we have we've sold uh, we've sold half of the place out, which is pretty fucking cool. There are still yep. tickets available on those mm-hmm. links, and I will keep them at the top of our Facebook page. The links on all of our bios. If you want to see us live, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty fucking good time. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Now that yeah, we're we're pretty much committed to this, we've got some ideas flying around. There's some. Uh, possibility of some some music being involved we don't know that for sure but i mean there's a lot of cool things that are probably going to come out of this and uh, make it as entertaining as possible i didn't say that you said that we need strippers okay yeah yeah Yeah, we had a very low bar set as far as minimum number of tickets we needed to sell and we've sold almost eight times that (laughs) (laughs) yeah i was if we sell less than 10 i didn't want to have it Uh, right uh but no thank you to all of you guys who already purchased your your tickets and who are flying from other states, it's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, but Do your fucking part now and show up. Don't fuck this up. Yeah, right. Um, but we're really excited to uh, say that we are, uh, this thing's going, so we're going to have this. Uh, but also, I got to go to a golf tournament over the weekend. Nice. I nice. know that sounds boring as shit. It's not. You said it with a lot of fucking excitement in your voice. That's because I I was swallowing my drink of beer and then immediately laughed, and so I created an air pocket that was making my chest very uncomfortable. Um, I like it. If but I, no, was I went you, to a what, golf you know tournament what, you over know the weekend. The best way to do that, to take care of that, what? Uh, take that beer bottle, break it, and then stab it <laughs> in your neck. <laughs> just a way for that just gas to, to escape. Just, yeah, oh just get like the whole that's side good. of the neck to make right. sure you really get it. <laughs> right. No, but in all seriousness, I, I, I had high uh, expectations to go to this. Uh, it's called the Wichita Open. Um, it's it's a golf tournament, but it's for it's for professionals, but they're kind of not quite to the they're PGA, not PGA yeah. level yet. Is this the Corn Ferry Tour? No. Is that what it was? No. It's just Wichita Open. It's Wichita Open. Okay. All right. And uh fuck is a corn fair. <laughs> well, it's it's the it's the it's the more professional. It's the PGA one, right? It, this is a PGA like event. Oh, well, I don't the, Oh, you're talking about that Saudi backed No, that's one? live golf. That's live, live golf. golf yeah. Whatever it is. Whatever but the fuck. Is there taped golf? I, yeah. Yeah, I have to right. say whoever was marketing for the Wichita Open this year did a horrible job. Yeah. Like awful horrible. Sorry. I guess, that was I guess me, not guys. a lot of people showed up. No. Uh, no bullshit. Yes, they did. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Steve. Bullshit. <laughs> no, and I know both Fuck people you, who Steve. put this on. <laughs> but no, no, it was. There, there is a tradition that has been created over the last uh, twenty plus years that this thing has been going on, and there is a party at the seventeenth green. Maybe that's what it was. There wasn't it, a lot of people at that. I oh think. no! I, I, I trust me. I know. No, I, no, no, was, no, this, was the, this was the hatchet party or whatever before the thing started. That's. I don't know. That's who I heard talking you're, about you're it. Thinking it. And I had to places. look up. I had to look up when it was because I usually. Like, I'm seeing it all over Facebook and everything all no year. No shit, he's betting on it. I didn't see yeah, it. Yeah, no kidding. So, I don't know. What the fuck but is a uh, hatchet party? It's right. the, it's like... Is the, that where all the, the corn fairies yeah. go? Yeah, no, no, no. It's the fucking, that car place, the I, hatchet car yeah, place. Yeah, oh. they definitely weren't invited. 
No, 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 no. They had the they had the big party to kick it off, oh. and it was not well attended, I guess, because that's because nobody know. likes them. But anyways, um, but uh, in all seriousness, they no, should have had it at more shade. The, People come right. there. The seventeenth hole is kind of a big deal. It's a tradition that's now been created over twenty plus yeah. years, and it's a big fucking deal. There's three huge. It grandstands. is. They have one on em- almost every eighteen hole golf course. They have a seventeenth hole. That is. Um, but it's like a, a big tradition now <laughs> it's a, in golf. It's a watch party on a par three. And mm-hmm. I know that the Waste Management Tournament does this, I think, in uh, Arizona as mm-hmm. well. It's but all fun. of the sudden, at, like randomly on the 17th hole, they'll tee off, and then the caddies will start walking up to the green like you normally would. Mm-hmm. De- Depending on how cool the golfers are of caring about it, the caddies will actually start walking a little bit faster and then faster and then faster, and then they will race to whoever touches the green first, and some people eat shit, and it's funnier than hell, and I was like cheering on, and you got people betting on which caddy's going to hit it first. It is the coolest fucking shit. You would have a blast. You would be betting on all kinds of shit. It was a lot of fun. I can't say, and it's free alcohol, too, with your ticket. Yeah. 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 Whew, that was time. a lot of fun. Uh, very but good I, time. I did that. Um, every drink well, is roofied, though. You should know that. I did just fine. Somebody's going to fuck you. Did well, you no, not you. Not with that oh, fucking uh, hair and sunglasses. Uh, uh, no, no, definitely not me. They've seen the fucking podcast. They right. Stay away. Right. But then uh, also I wanted to wish a uh, happy Father's Day. To, uh, happy Father's Day to everybody. I know I'm not I'm not a dad. Right. Um, but uh, happy Father's Day to my my family, your family, everybody's family. I hope you had a great Father's Day to all of you guys it who have kids. good. It was good. Yeah, and not not the people that are like single Mother's Day bullshit with oh, the fathers. Oh, don't broads. fuck those bitches. Uh, but yeah, that uh, yeah, that was my week. How about uh, how about you, Jeremy? It was fine. Cool. Moving on. on. Yeah, uh, my father in law is still in town, so there's that. Uh, Just pissing you off. I feel like that should have been the rim shot. Again. <laughs> no, it's no, no, he's still there. Uh, <laughs> no, actually, he hasn't been horrible. He's been sleeping a lot, and I'm just kind of hoping one of these times he stays there. And, um, <laughs> he doesn't wake up. Yeah, that's what I was getting at, Scotty, because I want him to be restful. That's, that's <laughs> right. what I want. I want him well-rested in 10, 12 years. And uh, so, anyways, uh, yesterday for Father's Day, we went to uh, the casino, Okay. Uh, like you do for some reason he's got this infatuation my father-in-law does with the oklahoma casinos the the ones that are just south of the northern oklahoma border mm-hmm. and they are such shitholes and we have such mm-hmm. a much nicer casino very close but he actually won some money he won a couple grand on slot machines there holy but shit i was playing the slot machine my wife was playing one and every other slot machine is at the bank was full except for this one so i sat next to her and played it was this alice in wonderland themed one. Oh, mm. perfect and i i didn't do very well but every now and then it'll pop up this random bonus where it brings up this series of teacups and you got to like pick them and if you get the one with the diamond under it you get like double your bet mm. but if you find the white rabbit Mm-hmm. Then that's worth ten times your bet. Ooh, sweet! Now, on admittedly, I have not kept up on the rabbit market lately, <laughs> but I gotta think that a diamond half the size of a fucking rabbit <laughs> should be worth way more than a fucking rabbit. I used to work at a pet store. You could buy a rabbit for about twenty bucks. A baseball sized diamond, several that's million. That's. that's uh, <laughs> I should have won the jackpot several times with that, just uh. based on on my ability to mine gems. <laughs> so that's my complaint with that. They're blood diamonds. They are. Right. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> do they have to eat blood oranges while they mine so. for blood diamonds? Or is so. that what blood oranges are? Are they just oranges that are grown by you know people who they don't pay well, where the, the fuck? People mining sure. for the blood diamonds or mining for the blood oranges. I gotta think the temperatures, the, the climate's about right. It <laughs> it grow oranges the there, yeah. It's about the same. Okay. And, but I mean, I'm willing to save some money on juice if that, if I gotta use blood oranges, I'll do it. I, I love it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got a new iPhone. Ooh, yay! And um, it's it's the 13, lucky 13. Nice. Uh, I did that because they gave us a credit for a free one if we turned in our old one. And you can basically just have this sitting next to your old phone and it'll transfer everything so now this is exactly like my fucking old phone <laughs> i don't i don't know why in the fuck my old phone didn't do anything as far as i can tell that this one 
can my old one could do too this one the big selling point on this the camera has two lenses where my old one had one mm. uh -huh. I haven't taken a picture yet, <laughs> but those fuckers. This one has three lenses. Well, yeah, you got the pro. I got the pro, bro. I do yeah. too. Yeah. And and I don't know why neither of you are really all that professional. <laughs> yeah. um, Not at all. But I, uh, I don't know about that. But okay. No, neither of you. <laughs> oh. I'm wearing and a I, collared shirt, motherfucker. Yeah. 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 Who'd you steal that from, <laughs> Steve? Yeah, you you got a backwards fucking hat. <laughs> true. And true. sunglasses inside. True. You're not it's even true. Corey Hart. It's bright in here. God damn. <laughs> All of the lights. He's just All trying. of the lights in here, baby. It's true. Yeah. I'm just going to go on home, guys. That's true. <laughs> <try. laughs> and then, uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, there, there. He's pushing buttons. Hey, it's better than whatever the fuck you do over there. <laughs> I, I don't even know what you do over there, and what Steve does is better. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Fair. I, can, I can say that with 100% certainty. Right. Uh, let's see. Then I watched, uh, I watched Shorzy. Okay. I'm really actually wanting to know your review so far. What is it? Shorzy? Shorzy. What's that? Can you watch Letter Kenny? Oh, okay. yeah. Canadian yeah. Do you know, TV show. You know the character Shorzy? Yep. yep. He got his own series. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Here, I, I have mixed feelings. It's not bad, but they get a little old with their just having the same fucking conversation over and over and over again, just trying to say the same thing different ways. Over and over again. Mm -hmm. there, it's got its funny moments. Um, but what I don't like, okay, they like give Shorzy like a whole character and a backstory, and he's actually kind of like got heart. Yeah. He was just always the continual prick right. at all times mm -hmm. in this, <laughs> in, in Letterkenny, and now like he's a person. You get to see his face. Yeah. Now, they have not taken away the fact that he takes a shit between every period of hockey games, and he cries during their national anthem. Too bad they sing the wrong national anthem. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's good. It's worth a watch if you like Litter Kenny. I it's do. certainly in that same vein of humor because same fucking guy. But, uh, <laughs> no, it's good. Um, I do like the fact that to make extra money, he referees high school hockey games. And, <laughs> and he's like always getting on their ass about breaking the rules and shit. And it's like, come on, you didn't think you were going to get that one by me, did you? <laughs> it's like you're, you're the biggest fucking rule breaker in the whole goddamn game. And, yeah, he's, he's like the dirtiest fucking hockey player. And then when he referees, he calls it clean. Nice. He's, nice. he's all like about it. the rules, enforcing I'll, the rules, guys. I love it. Yeah. Uh, so um, that's what I – and then I watched a movie called The Contractor with Chris Pine. Mm. Chris Pratt. Pine. Pine? Yeah. There's a new one with Chris Pratt, too. I can't remember well, what the hell it's yeah, called. Yeah, but that's not every movie with Chris Pratt. <laughs> They can both be in their own movie. They make Who's lots of Chris movies. Chris Pine? <laughs> Chris Pine, he, let's see, he plays Captain Kirk in oh. the new Star Trek movie. Oh, yeah, he's kind of the weird-looking guy. Yeah. yeah, I know exactly By, by weird-looking, you mean incredibly handsome. Well, yeah. he's but, fucking weird-looking. But not in this movie. Mm -hmm. He's not. Uh, he plays a Special Forces veteran yeah. who's, he's weird. who's yeah. been uh, injured many times in battle and I've seen has this. to keep himself... Shield yep. up on painkillers and steroids mm -hmm. and shit. Then he gets popped and gets dishonorably discharged and has yep. to do like contract security or what? What do they call it? Yeah, that? it's it's yeah, it's private, 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 mercenary work. Mercenary work, yeah. yes. And and uh, my wife kept asking questions through the whole fucking thing, like she while would. her dad oh, is yeah. sitting right there. And at first, I answered the first couple of questions, and then I just go. You've seen as much of the movie as I have. I don't know any more than you do. Watch the fucking movie. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever seen her dad grin bigger. <laughs> I'm yelling at his daughter. <laughs> and, and you can just see the look on his face that he is like, I was thinking the same fucking thing. <laughs> so this I don't guy like, does, I don't like that we were on the same page I was there. But, ready uh, to say, this guy doesn't sound all that he's, bad now. He's, he's like the fucking Nick Cannon of my world. <laughs> oh, um, all right. No, I... He may not be as bad as what I make him out to be. Oh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> but, yeah. um, but still, come for a couple of days, and that's it. Get yeah. a fucking hotel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jeez. All right. All Other right. than that, that's, that's my week. Awesome. Awesome. Well, great. Uh, again, guys. God damn right, it's <clears> great. <throat> yeah. If, uh, if you have not yet uh, gone, uh, clicked on the link and looked at uh, tickets, uh, we would sincerely appreciate to have that bitch sold out. That's what we're after, people to look at tickets. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. and, and, and buy them. They're, they're $10 oh. a pop. 
Well, sure. how can they look at them if they buy them? Then the next guy can't look at them, dude. That, that's true. I that's get true. on the website every day and just look at them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I wish I could be at that show. <laughs> Shut up, motherfucker. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, moving on. Uh, I don't plan to be there, by the way. I'm sure. I can't afford tickets. <laughs> <laughs> They're $10 a pop, Jeremy. <laughs> I know that. You're the wealthiest one out of all oh, of us here. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, not with Steve here. Uh, no, I am very broke, sir. I, I have I have I have gone full comedian. I promise, I am a broke son of a bitch. He is. I'm sleeping on my own couch. I'm so broke. Uh, cultural wow. appropriation with comedians. That's yeah. the way it is. Yeah. Um, but anyways, before we get on to the sports, we've got to talk about our uh, sponsor for every single episode. Um, they're a great sponsor. Uh, thank you to Manscaped.com for making products that help you clean your bush and tush. Mm -hmm. That's very mm -hmm. important. There we go. By all means, chicks don't like it when it's all nice and like messy down there. You know, uh, that's a good way to get rid of crabs, too. Uh, you basically just got to shave, and uh, it kind of takes care of itself. Right, Jeremy? I think so, yeah. 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 Kind of the whole point. I, I wasn't listening. What would you say? Uh, shave your balls. Yes. Use the lawnmower. Yeah, you should shave your ball. <laughs> Use the lawnmower 4.0. It is uh, new and improved. It's got an adjustable LED light. Damn right it does. You Thank God for that. <laughs> That's right. It gets in between the wrinkles. That's true. Uh, it also has a docking station. So now it looks very professionally posted on your bathroom counter. So your uh, guests can come over. Ooh, I've been sticking my dick in that thing. <laughs> oh, really? Uh -huh. It is a docking Just, station. Yeah. Holy it, shit, did true. Colorado already score? <laughs> yes, they did. We're watching the hockey game, folks. Uh, we'll get to that That in seems a to be a, a trend here on this show now. Whenever We're all Steve's hockey here. all the time. Right. No, JP was here. <laughs> oh, that's we true. Whenever Derek's not here, basically. Yeah. Um, but no, they make a whole bunch of other products, like the Weed Whacker, to help you get rid of your nose hair and ear hair. It's Just very... used it today. Did you? I did. How do you feel? Like shit, honestly, but that has nothing to do with the weed whacker. Yeah, my nose feels great. Just the rest of me, you know. Okay, well, that's kind of uh, depressed. I'd like to talk about it. Well, actually. <laughs> that's because you're fat. Uh, but next, moving on. That's they, a part of it. They yeah. also have the Boy. ball deodorant, especially if you live in the Midwest and the south, southern part of the United States. It is hotter than shit mm -hmm. outside, and it is making you very sweaty. Which at that same point means that you're going to be sweating your balls off. Legitimately, that means mm -hmm. that it's going to stink. So uh, that's why the ball deodorant's there. And do not spritz cologne down there. No. that Found that out the hard way. Yep, especially after shaving. Not a, not a good thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but they also have the ball toner, which J, uh, JP likes to use on his, uh, his cheekbones and stuff like that. But use them on your balls. It's much better. Uh, but they have a ton of products over at manscaped.com. Do check them out. Uh, we can vouch for all of their products. Uh, use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order, and you get uh, free shipping as well. Uh, so check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets them know that we are reading every uh, commercial word for word. What was the, the slogan that I came up with? Uh, stank to crank? No. Bush to tush? Belt uh, buckle to dirt knuckle. That's what <laughs> right. it was. Yes. Uh, hot pocket to meat locket. Was that something? That's like? Derek. Okay. Derek's the one that comes up with all those. Yeah. Anyway. And he's not uh, here. Yeah. He's not here. I don't know if you could tell. He's right. not here. Right. By the way, this Actually, goal, we've got this a surprise for you. will be coming off of the score. It will be. It was going to be off size. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, we are currently watching the Colorado Avalanche, uh, who mm. are up two mm. games to zero as uh, we are recording against the Tampa Bay Lightning, who is uh, if beating I, the piss out of them. Jesus H. Christ. It's seven bad, to dude. nothing the so other day. Bad. It's like, like a peewee you, hockey team showed up to a really uh, bad And they're, they're the two-time defending champions. Yes. Imagine, okay, yep. if you're talking about, like, say, in the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. if a team blows the other team out 49 to nothing, mm -hmm. that would be the equivalent yeah. of what this yeah. was. Seven to you're zero. talking about the next best team in the league got fucking skunked. Normally yeah. on a hockey game, the over-under is like four and a half or five and for a half. For total points scored, high. yeah. Total points scored. For one point for one team to score seven points is kind of unheard of. I mean, yeah. it's kind of crazy. It's well, not good. I remember the big, well, I don't remember, remember, but I, you know, there was all it's that stink about how the Soviet national team beat the NHL All-Stars six to nothing. And yeah. uh, that was like considered yeah. such a fucking blowout. Yeah. Because typically, if you score seven goals in a game, you're not playing much defense. Mm -hmm. So the other team's going to score five. Yeah. I know hockey, guys. I know the yep. fundamentals well, of hockey. I know there's ice. Yep. I know that there's sticks. I know, yep. well, well, 
Yeah. There's gloves. Yeah. Everybody and has they gloves. They skate. I know that there's cold. referees. So, right. Uh, but So I, I've actually taken an affinity to uh, colored the, the Stanley Cup playoffs over the last couple of weeks. Uh-huh. And um, so that means I've been talking to some friends who actually are into hockey, mm-hmm. uh, including my Australian friend named Dan, who uh, is rooting for the Colorado Avalanche right now. What's Dan's last name? Uh, D, it starts with a D, and, and you don't know him. He lives oh. in Melbourne, Australia. Well, so, I have a look, fucking it's a Australian friend named Dan. Country, but that's not the same guy. It's not the man, is it? No, oh. it's not. Did he move man. down there? No, no, no he did not. I, he doesn't tell me everything he does. Uh, but no, but him and a couple of other friends, I've talked about this, but the main reason why there, it seems that like there's a lot of uh, high-scoring games is twofold. Mm-hmm. Uh, one, they now allow two line passes, which they used to not do. Yeah. That that used to be a penalty. It's kind I of don't like know offsides. what that means. Uh, you couldn't cross. You couldn't make a pass from blue line to blue line. Yeah, pass. Uh, so two lines. If they went past that, it'd be icing if it went all the way past the goal. Yeah. First no, off, I can do whatever the really fuck I want. Let's be longer. very clear you, about you, that. You sure can. Uh, but the other thing is, is that especially the way that the Colorado Avalanche runs their offense, it's mm-hmm. legitimately a high low like it is in basketball. Mm-hmm. And so you yeah. always have a slasher that ends up that starts not in front of the goalie that ends up in front of the goalie, either off of a rebound or a one timer. And that mm-hmm. is part of the reason why they are scoring so many fucking goals. They got yeah. a big seven footer down there. Right. Yeah. Big seven footer. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty impressive. I'd like to see a seven foot guy play hockey. They're there. They have them. Well, probably with the skates, they're not far from it. So that, that's, yeah, that's, what that's, that's what I'm talking about. Whatever. So I'd like to see like a minute bowl on ice skates. <laughs> <laughs> that would be one long fucking stick. I would a fucking Yao Ming. I would love skates. to see them in the ice capades. Yeah. Oh yeah. No shit. Yeah, when I'm on ice skates, I'm six foot six. I think. Uh huh. Six foot five, something like that. I want to see like a six hundred with the Afro goalie. six nine. Yeah. yeah I, w- exactly. I want to see a 600 pound goalie. I want well, Jesus Christ with the pads. They're already the size of the fucking goal. I was going to say, Just I, stand su- there. I <laughs> suited up as a goalie one time and I never fucked that. <laughs> That's, that is brutal. I mean, man. get one of those. I thought those pads pretty well. They do, from, but you're just you can't move, and you can't. I mean, you have to try and butterfly. Like you got to be able to do the splits. You got to be. Uh, it's, yeah, it's I can not, do all that. I, I don't yeah. like all that. Do you got to get and back then up? The skates, the goalie <laughs> skates. I can't do that. No, it's bad. You're like a turtle on your back. <laughs> it sucks. I don't know, man. I think if you had a 600 pound guy wheel him out there and just lay him down, I think he'd pretty much uh, take up all the holes. <laughs> sure. And you you there's not a rule. Yeah, just be like, yeah, yeah exactly. Well, and there's that technique of like freezing fat off your body anyway. So that's true. You know, he'll get. Thinner yeah. as he has he tends goal, one hundred percent. By the end of the season, he'll look like me. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we're uh, we're watching that game as we are doing this episode. So enjoy the show. I that. like it. Yeah. yeah, I do too. Okay. Uh, what now else? moving on, uh, okay. we pretty much called this uh, pretty easily. We said that uh, Steph Curry was probably going to win his uh, his NBA Finals against. Oh. The, we didn't uh, say that. I said that. No, no, no. We did. We all did. We all thought that the Boston Celtics didn't have a snowball's chance in hell. That is true. Also. Yeah, but so, I I predicted the MVP. Yeah, you did. I give you that. So it uh, doesn't sound like you were gonna. Uh huh. Sounds like I really had to shoehorn that in. Okay, whatever. But now mm-hmm. he has he has four NBA Finals. Uh, under his belt, uh, who also has four NBA finals, is LeBron James. Uh-huh. So my question is, that he heated debate, who is the better <laughs> player, LeBron James or Steph Curry? First of all, LeBron has uh, taken much longer to do it compared to Steph Curry. But who is the best player? And I mean best player as in, uh, you know, who you would want on your team more. It's, it's not a fair comparison. LeBron spent the first five, six years of his career on a Cleveland team that had him and nobody else. Mm. Steph has been on pretty much an all-star team most of the time that he's played with Golden State. Okay. Um, Who they drafted. Yes. Uh, except, for, except for Kevin Durant, if you want to get technical, but he didn't really, you know. Right, but I'm just saying that they've got three or four fucking all-stars on there. He spent a long time in Cleveland – as just kind of their lone soldier. LeBron can't make it to the playoffs with a team full of all-stars. So he took him to the finals several times by himself mm-hmm. in Cleveland. It's couldn't Stephen win it. Curry, right? Like that's his Yes. Yeah, right. So we should call him Steve. Steve <laughs> Steve? Okay. Yeah, Steve. I'm good with right. that. No, it's I, actually Steph Curry, but anyways. Um <laughs> I'm I'm gonna say no, that's not what that's <laughs> oh, not the I right one. Miss <laughs> that one. Okay. Uh but no, I'm I'm gonna say that there there are too many pluses when it comes to Steph Curry as that, that outweighs the cons. There's too many pros he, that outweighs the cons. 
compared uh, as far as he, play. Pro if, number one, he's just a nice person and a good that's team. More of a team he's, player that's yes. not a fucking sore loser. So as far as overall, just raw talent. Uh huh. I, I mean, LeBron, LeBron can do some things beat. that that Steph can't do. That's true. And LeBron is. LeBron's what, five a big years motherfucker, too. Yeah. He's a big dude. Yeah, man. he he's... had some very natural attributes. Yeah, Coming out sure. of high school, 6'8", 240. Dick is gigantic. And it is. It's, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's like a fucking canoe yeah. hanging off the front of him. It's crazy. It like a, fucking comes out like, of the bottom of his shorts all the time. Like a yeah. half-inflated life raft just <laughs> dragging around from his fucking waist. Right. Yeah. Just looking for drowning people. Right. Yeah. I will. So he can fuck them. I will break. I will break character dunk of, on of what I normally say. No, I, as far as who is the better basketball player, one hundred percent, it's LeBron James. It's not even close. He's six foot seven, has extremely yeah. good handles yeah. so on the he basketball. Since high school, I said six. He eight. can he can shoot. He can drive. He can Zero dunk. Over. He can jump. He can do all of those things. But who would I rather have on my team? Yes, it's it's, it's one hundred percent Steph Curry. Steve Curry. Yeah. Yeah, Steph Curry has Steve. done so yeah. much of this while being incredibly selfless. Right. Yeah. But yeah. He, but he himself has also nice changed the way the NBA plays basketball, yeah. which I also don't like. But if I if I want to win a championship, it's who not I as want, exciting. It's, exactly. Everybody can shoot from the half court line and make it now. Um, He's so a the game's, three point maniac. Yeah, he is yes. a three point maniac. But but in all seriousness, who would I want? I would want Steph Curry, but I also would take Michael Jordan over them any day of the week. If, yeah, so if I was it. building a team around somebody, yeah, I would much rather build it around Steph. Yeah, and they have they have in Steve. in uh, Oakland. Uh, yeah, Oakland. I'm sorry, Steve. They have in <laughs> Oakland already. I think the legitimate comparison to who, who's the best duo uh, since Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, I would say Steph Curry, Clay Thompson. That I'm I'm not even I'm I'm just gonna sit Do there you and say play it. over Draymond. Yes. Okay. Who also dropped a shitload of MFers and, and uh, F bombs at their parade today, by the way, <laughs> on live television. Did, so good did on you him. hear about the fucking guy uh -uh. who shows up? He had a ticket. Oh. In a fucking Clay Thompson uniform. Had the shorts and everything, but he, and, but he had like a Golden State Warriors hoodie on and kind of looked like. Clay Thompson, and they let him down on the. He wormed his way down on the fucking court what? and took yes! practice shots, and now Holy he's been shit. permanently banned from the fucking arena for doing it. That's oh, great. And That's so come worth it. On. Dude paid $10,000 for that ticket. Oh. To get in there, he got kicked out, oh. and he's been like permanently banned he's from that like arena. A, is he like a uh, oh, social right. media influencer yeah, or something right. like that? Is there. I think he like, was just a, a guy that. Was like I'm. A, I'm wearing the fucking uniform. I kind of look like him. I'm going to see how far I can take really? this. Really? I I don't know. Maybe he had Honed a fucking up camera 10K going. Uh, to yeah. Do it too? Yeah. Oh I would. Gosh, tickets were ridiculous. I would rather wrong. keep that guy as a fan, Same. buying yeah. tickets and merch. Yeah. For Same. Because sure. I yeah. I bet you if they continue with this ban, he's probably not even going to be a Warriors fan <laughs> after this. No shit. Yeah. He's going to spend his merch money elsewhere. Right. He'll just go to every fucking everywhere they play outside of Oakland. Mm -hmm. It'll just be yeah. No, that's, that's too bad. Awesome. That's too I bad. Love it. Yeah, I, I think I think I, that's pretty for cool. for something like that. You go, oh, you're not who we thought you were. Why don't you take your seat, sir? Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. He, he didn't yeah, fight it him. Sounds like it was kind of their fault too. Yes, you know? very like, much. That's like, oh man, come here. You're late. What? Come on. <laughs> okay. Does one of the stars of your team show up at the front fucking <laughs> gate with a ticket? <laughs> <laughs> He just got off of a Lantra yeah. and walks Co in. Comes down through the fucking stands, and you're like, oh, you're going to be late for shoot-around. <laughs> yeah. But it takes some fucking warm-ups. Oh, okay. shit. I love That's it. great. I love it. Yeah. That's good. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, so, so much. Here. Yeah, you better put that back Sorry. on there. Yeah. Uh, moving on. Uh, I know you guys aren't into this shit as much as I am, but the College World Series is underway Poop. in Omaha, Nebraska. Ding. Poop. Yeah, um, it is fucking awesome. As of today, the day that we are recording, the number two team has now gotten knocked out of the College World Series, and that means that the two teams that have won their first two games and are in the best situation to make it to the College World Series championship mm -hmm. game is now Oklahoma, who is like 10th, I think, out of the teams yeah. that were picked, yeah. and Arkansas. <clears throat> The okay. Ar yeah. So these two teams, teams with the same fucking colors. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. And, and they're all related. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all talk like hicks. They're all crossbreeding. Yeah. 
And inbreeding, Scotty, not but, crossbreeding. But, yeah, whatever. Uh, but more importantly, other than the... Most the most fucking offsides I've ever seen in a hockey right. game. Anyway, keep going. More importantly, uh, rather than the baseball uh, news, mm-hmm. uh, there is a uh, there's a lot of tradition that comes with uh, college baseball in a Omaha. 17th hole. And that too. Uh, but there is uh, something called the Rocco's Jello Shot Challenge there in Omaha, which is kind of the College World Series bar. Uh-huh. And uh, they have fans come in and buy a particular Jello shot, and they okay. keep a tally of the f- number of fans who have taken said shot. Mm-hmm. I'm going to uh, give you like the top, eh, we're going to go with the top three. So coming in in third place is Texas A&M at 555 Jello shots taken. Nice. That's not too mm-hmm. bad. Not bad. Uh, this is like just their fans. Yeah, their fans. Okay, who, who not cl- the who claim their team. Right. No, yeah, I, I misunderstood no. that because I was thinking the same thing. No, no, I, I these are just fans. Yeah, they're going to pull a fucking Wade Boggs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Seventy six beers in a day. Right. Uh, Ole Miss uh, is in second place of uh, as of right now, which mm. is uh, 2,763. So a little bit of a gap there. That does wow. seem like. A, a smidge. Space, yeah. Wow. Uh, but I'm going to tip my hat to uh, the Arkansas Razorbacks, who are leading this said competition uh, by leaps and bounds with 3,416 jello wow. shots as this show is being recorded. That's that why is, they keep fucking whoo. their cousin. They're just so <laughs> drunk just that so it doesn't drunk. matter. They're That's just blacked right. out like, fuck it, you'll do. <laughs> Nine months, we're going to play a really awkward game of 23 and me. <laughs> Oh Please be third cousin. Please be <laughs> fuck first cousin. Fuck. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, that's it's good. I like yeah. it. Ah, oh, but I think yeah, it's that's it. a secretariat level lead right there. <laughs> that's and right. I guess it's pretty good. Where when, are you, Oklahoma? When when you live in a state known for its homemade corn whiskey, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jello shots go down pretty smooth. That's I'm true. guessing you don't yeah. even. There's no bite to that. They're not sitting there. Sh- Slamming one back, going, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. There, that's uh, <sighs> that's candy to them. Not to incriminate any of my family. There's always members. room for Jello, you know. Not to incriminate any of my family members, but I do have a family member uh, yeah, who is from Arkansas who murdered somebody, <laughs> <laughs> and his name and his family uh, produces something called apple pie. You ever heard? Oh of yeah, that? yep, yeah. It's in a it comes in it, a mason jar. It sure shit does. Yeah. Yeah. All moonshine yeah. does, doesn't it? Well, yeah. I guess it, it comes in jugs. The, so, yeah, but, but uh, no, this comes in a in a mason jar, and it mm-hmm. tastes just like apple it pie. It tastes just you, like you apple put a pie stick in there. until uh-huh. yep, yep. <laughs> until it knocks you on your fucking. Well, yep. And until the yep. moonshine portion of it kicks in, <laughs> yeah, the right. halfway down you go, oh fuck, that <laughs> pie sucks. <laughs> That will that will knock you on your ass. Oh yeah, it's I only ever delicious. drink it all mode. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. I dollop of ice cream on top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Heat it up <laughs> yeah. in the it's, microwave. It's the best <laughs> root beer float it ever. Sure does. Do you th- just it makes chuck the it, kids sleepy? Chuck what? it into the microwave like you do. <laughs> oh, I just pour it in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just on the plate. Pour it and it. Lap it off. <laughs> That's great. All right. Uh-huh. Give the leftovers to the dog. and Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. That would kill shit. your fucking dog. Something should. Yeah. <laughs> God, that's terrible. All right. Moving on. We got some baseball to get to uh, other than the College World right. Series. I thought this was cool. I am uh, I am starting to change my tune about, or my tune about Albert Pujols. Um, I think it's really cool what they're starting to do for him. Now, Page. everybody talked about giving him a fel- farewell tour, Aww. like Manny Machado and stuff like that. He, he is. He is one of the best baseball players players to ever live Mm -hmm. even though he took steroids a lot um but it was really cool he ended up going to boston playing um at fenway and they ended up giving him the number five one of the number fives off of the uh uh, green monster as Mm -hmm. a uh tribute to him and his career which i thought was fucking neat that's awesome uh so i thought that was uh, number five was that uh wait boggs i don't know was he number five? No, no, because that's it. the thing. Pujols wasn't even the best number five. I of think all it was time. like Dustin Pedroia actually would may have been number five. Uh, they retire his number? No, fuck no, no. They just, just they just took it one of the numbers that they usually hang up to show the score at, oh, uh, at Fenway. The, I thought it was like a no. number hanging off the green monster. Okay, N- no, 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 no. They didn't do that. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it was pretty cool, especially being a Cardinal fan. It was pretty neat, even though they didn't do so hot against the Red Sox. But that's beside the point. 
Um, but on top of that, Miles... That's how they paid him off. Yeah, I, I you know. You got all the fives you want. Right. Um, but also, my uh, Miles Michaelis ended up uh, coming one strike away from getting a no-hitter. It wasn't a true no-no because uh, they scored a one, uh, run against the Pirates. Hmm. And uh, down to the last strike, and he gave up a fucking double. So that, oh, uh, what uh, a you, dick. And you could hear it. Like, so I got a question. Do you think... Do you think that uh, there is such thing as uh, jinxing a no hitter? <laughs> yes. Yeah, hundred oh, percent, thousand percent. Really? Definitely. Yes. It because here's the problem: when you talk about it, and everybody's like, "Oh, this is it. This is going to be it." Then that's all you fucking think about, mm -hmm. and then uh, you're so focused on it that you're destined to make a mistake. Now okay. that it's just team the way it is. The team typically knows stay away from the pitcher in the dugout. Yeah. You don't talk to him. You don't yep. look at him. Yep. Nothing. Yep. And he sits there, which he's got to think, what the fuck did I do wrong? <laughs> 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 or he's got to be thinking, oh, shit, I have a no-hitter going. Uh, uh, yeah. Which, you know, they always say that they want the pitchers, you know, they don't even know what's happening. They're just so into what they're doing. No, they fucking know. Pitchers keep track of that shit. Baseball players have short memories. But they keep track of shit like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And, yeah, for sure. I mean, especially when He's that's... aware that no one has gotten a, that, a score yes. in the game. It, like one run. When, when you have worked your entire life as hard as what it takes to become a major league pitcher... It's not that and hard. It's uh, not... <laughs> maybe not for this guy. I mean, <laughs> fucker throws damn near complete games... All the time this week, I love uh, it. but no, I mean that that kind of represents the culmination of the single game, like the best thing you can ever do. They're very aware, yeah, of what's going on. It's but actually, yes, you can certainly jinx it. So I actually got, yeah, I, I, it's I'm, like saying the number seven at a craps table. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but no, anyways, uh, Dustin Pedroia actually was number 15. I, there weren't very many good number fives. So. Uh, but the other cool thing about we were talking about this no-hitter uh, bullshit, uh, I actually have a friend who is an announcer. He, he does the play-by-play -play, play -play announcing for minor league baseball uh, team that we have here locally. Timmy G? Oh, I know Timmy that G. guy. Timmy G? Nicest guy oh. you'll ever fucking meet. 100%. I thought it was Derek. No, it's not. Oh. But it's kind of funny because I asked him one time, I said, so do you say he's got a no-no going through six or seven? Like, how do you? Oh, do? no. Because, well, here's the cool no. thing. The radio announcer, they can't hear him. Well, well, here's the deal. Yeah. No, they can't. They can't hear him. It, it's only really? on the radio. And so it's really cool. Oh, he's because, a radio. I thought yeah, you were talking yeah. about no, he's no, calling no. it at the. Okay. No, no, no. All no. Right, okay. But it was really cool because. He did I did say announcer. Scott, I did, I did. Yeah, but he, okay. he's the voice. Right. He's that the he's the voice of when the you radio listen on the radio. Of yeah, the, yeah. Which so into. So, anyways, I asked him. I was like, "So, what do you do? Because you don't want to jinx him, right?" And he's like, "It is so hard not to do whenever you are in the eighth and the ninth inning. How, yeah. however, when it's in the sixth and the seventh, he will go. There are no, uh, there's no H's in their column, or he'll try to be around it and say it right. in a really cool way right. to where only baseball fans will understand and." not jinx them but whenever you get to the eighth of the night he, he i mean no hit still i mean he can't really right, get around to right, that point yeah the yeah. sixth and seventh inning no hitters are far more common very than common, i think people yeah. realize it it really is the those last couple of innings are very taxing on a pitcher yeah you've at that point you've thrown 100 yeah. pitches 100 yes. pitches yeah. plus yeah. so yeah it's uh you're gassed at that point uh, and last but not least, uh, before we move on to the fun stuff, this is another uh, fun baseball thing that happened uh, that I saw. Uh, during a baseball game in an unknown league, a pitcher mm -hmm. beamed a batter and then was chased all the way from home plate all the way out into the outfield and chased around with the batter himself still holding his bat and swinging. <laughs> That's great. I That's think awesome. this should be he should legal. play hockey. This huh? should be legal. Yeah, right, you threw so it a guy with a fucking stick. <laughs> yeah, dude. That would what make, did you think was going to happen? That would make baseball so much it's, more watchable if you oh. if they legalized steroids and beating the shit out of each other with a bat. It would be awesome. Oh, man, it's one of the the most famous brawls in Major League history, and I don't know because it might have been before there was video coverage of every game. Juan Marichal, who was a pitcher for the Pirates, I believe. That or sounds Giants. Familiar. Doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, it was the Giants, and they were playing the Dodgers. And the game before, Don Drysdale had hit the Giants pitcher. Mm -hmm. So, or no, the Giants pitcher had hit Don Drysdale. Mm -hmm. 
So the next game, it was Sandy Koufax pitching, who was nowhere near as aggressive as Don Drysdale. So he wouldn't throw at Juan Marichal. So the catcher took it on himself as he was throwing the ball back to the pitcher <laughs> to clip Juan Marichal's ear. No way. And That's the great. first time he did it, Juan Marichal looked back at him and said, that better not happen again. He did it a second time, and Juan Marichal fucking lost it and hit him with the fucking bat. <laughs> <laughs> and it... It was a fucking ugly goddamn scene. Yeah. <laughs> and would have loved to have been there in person for it. I, but yeah, it, it has happened before. I, I know. I, I've seen, I, I've heard about that one. I saw video evidence now, of this I one. I told you about it. I know, but I heard about this one before. <laughs> um, but I have also seen one that the guy didn't even get hit, and it was also in the minor leagues. And this was probably one of the more famous ones. Yeah. It was a, a batter. He was hitting from the right side. And you could see that he got brushed back. You, uh -huh. you can tell. He kind of threw really, really high and tight, and it just missed him. And before he did anything, he gathered himself and then kicked backwards towards, oh, yeah. the, uh, towards the catcher straight in wow. the chest and then sprinted at, yes. to, at the pitcher. Wow. Like what fucking, fucking game was that? that? I, I know exactly great. what you're talking about. It was but he didn't want the fucking catcher running up and catching him from behind. Yeah. He wanted at the pitcher by himself, so he incapacitated the catcher, catcher first yeah. knowing See, he could get to the pitcher for a couple were of good as common in baseball as they are in hockey more people oh, watch that shit it, sure. oh man it'd be way better and golf let's just yeah. make it well let's just make it a and thing. it kind of used I to be a game golf that fights they're great it sure is that's the best yeah <laughs> especially usually two guys that look like me and jeremy falling out of their fucking <laughs> golf cart trying uh -huh. to punch each other and they can't do it because they're highly uncoordinated yeah yeah Anyway, Sorry. so that was the Have baseball. you seen some of the GoPro footage of people wrecking their golf carts? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> love those. Yes. Fucking love I those. Was, uh, it's great. Uh, the last bachelor party I went to, we went to Crestview at 9 o'clock in the morning. By like 10, we were already done with the fifth of whiskey, and we <laughs> rolled the golf cart, and I was on the passenger side, and the dude driving freaked out. He's like, dude, get up, get up, get up. I'm like, I fucking can't. I'm yeah. pinned <laughs> under the golf cart. Yeah, there's a golf cart yeah, on me. <laughs> it was bad. It was really bad. Uh, what, was it a uh, course cart? Did they rent oh, it? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It was right on 13th Street right there, too, for everybody to see. <laughs> That's always good. It was like a Tuesday. Yeah. yeah Let me awesome. guess. Did he fuck up because somebody honked in his backswing? That's how bad it fucked him up. No. <laughs> he rolled the golf cart. I think he just, uh, I, think I, I think I was the fat guy on the wrong side. Oh. And then inertia took over. It was, it was just a perfectly level <laughs> surface. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't like, was like, anything to it. Like the Flintstones putting that rack of ribs exactly. on the side of the car and it just yeah. tips. Yep. 100%. Oh, great. Oh Come on, out of sports. All right, yeah, we're, at, we're done with the sports. Now we Good. get to move on to the Thank fun God. part of every single, or the funnest part of the every single, the comedy. Mm. Uh, we, we tried this last week, and it was uh, fairly successful, so we're going to do it again. This is something called the ick. Steve, have you ever heard of the ick before? No. Okay. No. That is something that women have been using in uh, TikTok videos and YouTube videos, basically saying that when a guy does this, it completely turns them off to the point where they won't ever want to date them again. Well, I feel ever. like I'm 23 now. Yeah, exactly. Sudden. But that's why this is that's, that's why this is fun. Uh, so this is called the ick. Uh, mm -hmm. We're going to give a girl a rating. Fuck it. However, yeah, this is good. I like this already. This rating awesome. from 1 through 10. Okay. But she does something, and you get to change the rating because of that particular thing that she does. Okay. Makes sense? I like this. 1 Let's through 10. This. All right. So Very misogynistic. I totally I love it. 100%. I'm way on board here. All right. Yes, we're we're basically making women objects yeah. as they yeah. are. I mean, we're not making them that way. They just are that. As they do to us as the well with this same gap. shit. Yeah, I'm so tired of getting fucking objectified. Yeah. Me too. Happy Father's Day, guys. Let's do this. Uh anyways, first one. She's a 7. Oh, okay. But she roots for the rival of your favorite team just to piss you off. <laughs> well, there's domestic violence. <laughs> oh, no. You no, know, I mean, it's just Jesus Christ. This has nothing to do with so, women. This is people. Yeah. So let me ask you this. <laughs> yeah. Is she a fan of that team or she just roots for the Packers to piss me off? Take it how you want. I think well, that's you wrote the question, there's, Jack. Because yeah, because there's there's difference there. If it she's a true just to fan, piss you off. it says a just true to fan. piss you off. What a bitch! <laughs> My God, yes. what a bitch! <laughs> I don't mm. think some people don't quite understand how serious when when it is your team, how serious, especially with me, how serious I can get mm -hmm. over yeah. that. There have been times when 
it's taken all of my restraint to keep from killing somebody. Oh, mm. man. Just because they thought I was taking it all in good stride and they'd get in my fucking face when inside I'm just fucking steaming. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of a big reason why I had to take a step back from sports in the last few years. Nice. Okay. Very well, nice, okay, man. fine. I'll answer first. Um, I think we already answered. Uh, you answered well, last. So. Oh, well, he didn't. He hasn't yet. He hasn't given me his rating. Uh, she is a CU in Toledo. <laughs> I we need I, a number wait, value. Oh, yeah. I got to rate her as a number. Yeah. Oh, uh, you can give her the basement uh, if you want to. We'll go with a two. Two. Okay. All right. We'll invite everybody knows the rules. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna go with a nine. I'm gonna give her props for this, and here is why: because I I do have favorite teams, and yes, I do really the really. Fuck is wrong with I, this I, let me let me get, let me get there. Okay. There In all go. seriousness, I, I actually appreciate it. I know she's just trying to piss me off, but if it's anything that I can get her to actually pay attention to the game and not sit here and talk my fucking ear off, I actually appreciate her trying to give me shit. Maybe she's going to learn some of the players' names. Maybe she'll learn some of the fucking rules. I am more uh, uh, happy about that and that she's trying to dig at me about my favorite team that I'm like, hey, you know what? She's trying to learn something I already fucking like. So uh, I'm going to give her a couple of points positive for that. She's a fucking zero. Uh, you know, you know what that, you know that reminds me of? That scene in, in Billy Madison where he's like, I award you no points, yes. and may God have mercy on your yes. soul. Yeah, that's exactly what you just said is that, the most insanely yeah. idiotic thing yeah. I've ever heard. At yeah. no point in your rambling, incoherent response did you come close to anything that resembled a rational thought. Yes. I award yeah. you no points, and may, may God, God have mercy on your soul. Yeah. I've All heard right. it before, yeah. Okay. No, that's a fucking zero. And I'll tell you what, I mean, uh, is this a girl who I was interested in or we're in a relationship no you gotta be yeah. You, yeah. all these chicks you're banging right okay like you're definitely banging them uh get the we fuck gotta out at least of, say that because right? this is a a woman who looks to find ways to piss you off yes that yes. that is the type of person she is i've been in relationship yep. with people like that fuck those people yeah okay. okay there we go fine uh next one and fuck you scotty yeah okay fine next one she's a nine but she takes selfies of herself with duck face. Can I go? Yeah. One. Uh, <laughs> this makes me want to hunt duck. <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm not saying I'd get out a shotgun, but I'd get out my old Nintendo fucking pistol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I find there are few things in the world that I find more obnoxious than girls, especially ones who aren't hot but think they are. Yeah. Uh, somehow thinking this makes them yeah, but sexy. She's a nine. Yeah, this is a nine. She's actually a hot uh, one. Not with those fucking lips. She's not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> duck or otherwise. Right. Once they go back to regular lips, I've. Once you go duck, you can't go back. That's what I'm saying. Those are always duck lips. Once they've, once I know that they've been in that position, the only exception to this is if she's doing it with Pringles. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah, all true. right. That's, that's the true. only exception. But if right she's on. doing it, because that's somebody who's fucking infatuated with themselves. Jeremy is taking the the gun from duck hunt and pistol whipping the shit out of yes. him. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I don't think you can stove in somebody's skull with that, but you can give them a hell of a knot. <laughs> right. For sure. They you don't build plastic toys like they used they to. They sure right? don't. That thing would hold up to a beating. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I'm going to go with the six as well. This is a huge turnoff for me. Uh, I, I don't like it when girls do this, especially when they're trying to look cute because you look retarded. So I'm going to go with, uh, you're going to go to a six. Okay. For me, I'm going to go with a nine point two. Whoa! I uh, I don't mind the duck face at all. And what happens is when we break up, because we always break up, uh, I can the memes will be fucking great. <laughs> it, I'm thinking ahead on this deal. Okay. Like it's actually it makes it more fun in the long run. Okay. So I would yeah. shove a black cat in those lips. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay. That's good. That's all good. Right. Fine. Uh, Not on the meme, in real life. <laughs> I know. I knew what you meant. Uh, give her a hair lip. Uh, I've next seen Daffy one. Duck take that several times. <laughs> yeah, and he's fine. Uh, next one. She is a 10, mm -hmm. but she texts you 10 plus times a day and gets mad if you don't text back. So did Natalie, like, write this or something? <laughs> or, like, what? What the fuck? Because C and E, or I'm sorry, C and D is well, 100%. Well, don't give, don't give it away yet. Oh, God. So, well, that's my question. It, but she's a 10. 
I married her. Like, what the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do? I don't. I give her a ten, I guess. I don't. Okay. You just ignore. Her. You can block. It. There's a block button <laughs> on your. It's fucking great. It's easy. It's uh, phenomenal. But she gets mad if you don't text back. Oh yeah. What uh -huh. the fuck were you doing? <laughs> Working. Uh, trying to fuck this hot chick. I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh yeah yeah I. <sighs> I'm so lucky I don't have this problem. Yeah. If I had this problem, if somebody was texting me on a regular basis, especially when I'm at work and just bugging the fucking shit mm -hmm. out of me, I, you lose quite a bit. I, I, I give you a six now. And going from a ten, that's a lot. Well, the problem is with mine is I don't have a job right now. So right. she... she Text me fucking instructions all day long. <laughs> Sounds like she's what are you doing? Out we of need you to bedroom. do this. Yeah, it's bad. It's like you're on the it's couch. Really bad. It's really bad. Oh, great, uh, Jeremy. Yeah, I I think this is just kind of age talking and experience. Mm -hmm. But okay, a some of the most physically attractive people in the world are the ugliest fucking people I know, 100%. and neediness is one of those qualities that I find to be so unattractive and can make a person super unattractive in my book. So I'll go with a six. Okay, mm -hmm. <clears throat> all right. I mean, honestly, if you're a ten and you're dating me, do you honestly think I'm fucking somebody else? <laughs> you think I'm going to risk that? And you, you, if she's a ten and dating you or me or this fucker over yeah. here, you know there's some fucking mental issues no going shit. on anyway. Yeah. There, but you hold all the power there. in this relationship. Yeah. What I mean, do you mean? Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe I'm really not me and you. You no. have no power. I, 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 I. Maybe I'm really good in bed. How do you know? No. No. I think no. I don't call, think that's call true. it a that's hunch. Never, that's call never a actually. Hunch. Yeah. Yeah. Let's call that a hunch. I have a sneaking suspicion you suck shit in the sack. Yeah. I <laughs> never. I've never been in a truck stop bathroom and seen for a good time call Scotty. Yeah, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, it's not I've seen happen. my name up there several times. Me too. What are you I, hanging out? You hanging out in the women's bathroom? I, at truck stops? It's 2022. They're cleaner. Dude. That's where I go. No shit. Don't fucking don't assume my gender. <laughs> He doesn't Fuck. have a fucking job. Yeah. He oh, needs cigarette Jesus. money somehow. Yeah. Well, fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's yeah, see. 2022 dudes can be lot lizards. <laughs> okay. Fucking fine. That's what I am. Uh, next one. She's a 10, okay. but she, sorry. She's a 10, but she always has something to complain about at a restaurant. Yeah, the food's cold every single fucking time. <laughs> every time I take her out to a fucking restaurant, the food is cold every single time, no matter how piping hot it is. And then when it's the same for the shower. But the plates are very hot. hot <laughs> yeah. I don't understand that. Yeah. Why are the fucking plates I so know. hot? It's idiotic. Ugh. I don't know. Just start taking her to sandwich joints, then it doesn't matter. That's not real food. Like, <laughs> she has to go sit down and have an experience <laughs> okay. when she eats every okay. time. It's fucking horrible. <laughs> Very annoying. Uh, this is a super subjective one because yeah, are her complaints legitimate? Because sometimes restaurants suck. Yeah, I mean, but okay. I mean, then you're doing a shitty job at taking her to a good restaurant. Tampa yeah, is winning. So what, you think I, I'm good at anything? Yes, I'm a one. I'm a solid one and a half, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but your dick. I'm and twelve. Jim. I'm not attractive, <laughs> nor am I a good person. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to hear her complain while I'm busy bitching about things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is this is such a deal breaker for me. I I genuinely care a lot about waitresses, uh, about the the staff. Especially if they're hot. Not even if they're hot. I, like oh. like I Ooh. I legitimately care. I know what it's like to be in the customer I don't service want industry. Ugly chicks touching my food. Well, they gotta cares? be hot. Even if she's got a couple snaggle teeth, I'm okay. But yeah. no, in, in all seriousness, this is a total total deal breaker. You go from a ten to like a minus one in this particular situation. Are they complaining to the waitress? Yes. Oh, I thought they were just complaining to you. Yeah, Either way, that's what I thought if it was they too. are if you are taking them to places on a regular basis and every time you go in she has to complain about it, something stupid to you or something stupid oh, to yeah, the Natalie waiting just staff. Complains to me. She doesn't she doesn't No, like be that it. person that always has something to complain about going to a wet restaurant. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's to me or to the to the staff. Yeah. I'm done. Like, I am so done. Uh, out. Completely. Much like mo right. most of the complaints that we get, those people are just looking for something to be pissed about. Exactly. Some people oh, in yeah. this world are just not happy unless they're pissed. Right. Every, everybody, everybody wants to be important. Too. Yes. Everybody wants to feel pampered. 
and important. They and probably like go to that. a job where they and get pushed around, so here's their chance. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah. they don't realize they're going to wind up with stool in their food. <laughs> 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 this is true. And stool. so, yeah, like it, the, the, thing, the fact awesome. is, if she does that, then it won't be long before she's finding shit to complain about about you. Yep. And well, Yeah, of course. You know, complaining to the waitress I, the I, about you. I legitimately have learned something. And I'll never forget it. So at one point in time, I went to a restaurant. It was just me. I was on my lunch and uh, I knew the, I knew I had horrible service. The wait staff knew I had horrible st- service. I did not complain a single time. I was very polite and I tipped them. Well, guess what happened every single time after I went to that place? They kicked you job. out. I they kicked you out for got, taking warm up shots. I got exceptional <laughs> service every single time from that point on. Never had a single problem. They knew my order. They knew exactly who I was, and it still is like that to this day. Because I treat people like they're people and not like pieces of shit. He's, okay, there's he's there's still a, calling Asian massage parlors restaurants. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, and Asian people as people. <laughs> That's um, fucked up. But no, I mean, okay, when they're doing a super shit job, though, mm-hmm. I mean. You have the right to be treated like a person too. Yeah, that's true. If they're going sure. out of their way to be a shithead to you, I am never for treated, no real reason. I, I am never treated like a person, including on this podcast. Well, yeah, you don't deserve it. You're <laughs> you're down below Asian. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah, you should oh, be cleaning up at a massage parlor. I'm fish he's shit small. at this point. <laughs> he's All not right. jockey small All right. though. Moving on, last one of the ick. Uh, last one. What? She's a six, but she is very amazing at. Uh, Peter Puffin, smoking pole, whistling Dixie. I went to high school. Is this the waitress you were talking about? (laughs) Uh, That makes her a fucking (laughs) ten in my book (laughs) for sure. Actually, I'll give her a twelve. We'll give her a twelve. Twelve. That's fine. How about you, Jeremy? Generally, women who are really good at smoking pole uh, understand that uh, they got something to work for. They're making up for yeah. something. They acknowledge yeah. their place in life. They understand yep. reality, and they're making up for it. And I love those people. <laughs> yeah, I'll give her a 12. If she can take her teeth out, I'll give that a 13. Especially, a 13. especially if they're not dentures. Yeah. Ooh, boy. yeah she, just, sure. she wants to be so good at this that she's willing Fold to rip out back. her own fucking yep. teeth. Yeah. Pull out. She carries pliers. Is that <laughs> nice? I'll be damned. That's bad. That's a good waitress. Uh, yeah, I, I I give you a little bit of a heads uh, or a couple of points, but I, I'll get you I'll get you a nine. But uh, I still uh, ten. Uh, bad head is still good head, and I'll I'll take it anyway. Mm, if she nah, works that hard at that, head. huh? If she works that hard at that. She's gonna work that hard at most things. Most things. Yeah, <laughs> Making the true. relationship work. That's true. Okay, fine. All right, moving on to the next segment of this uh, show. This is real shit or horse shit. Uh-huh. Again. You guys, if you have any How suggestions. How far are we at time wise? Uh, we're, like we're, no, we're actually doing pretty good. How? I don't know. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> we're going to move. It feels like it's well, we gotta moving move. slow. Oh, uh, now we're making it longer. Uh, anyways, real shit or horse shit, if you have any suggestions uh, for real shit, horse shit, overrated, underrated, or questions and pregnancies, you can send those to us at Laughing on the Sidelines via Instagram or TikTok. Send them to us if you have any suggestions. We appreciate that. This very first one is a suggestion from a listener. This is at Rich215Brand. He wants to know, real shit or horse shit, I wish people who wish happy Father's or Mother's Day to people that don't have kids and just pets would stop it. Jesus Christ, we need to get you hooked the fuck on phonics, first of all. It <laughs> I ch- says, I, I wish people the- <laughs> happy Father's or Mother's Day if they have no kids, but they have pets. Same thing. It's the same deal. Nope, I just no, that was just no, like a real <laughs> sentence. Uh, fine. You're saying something that you do as opposed to... Okay, fine. And and this okay. isn't a real shit... Well, I guess... Okay, no, never mind. Real go, shit on, or go, horse, on, go on. Real shit or horse shit, I wish people happy Father's or Mother's Day if they have no kids, but they have pets. This is horse shit. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I've had to raise human beings. It costs more than 10 cents a fucking day. Uh, no, I don't wish them happy Father's or Mother's Day. I I did wish a friend of mine that's actually in Stranger Things 4 yesterday. I wished him uh, happy Father's Day for all the children he doesn't know about. Okay, I did. Yeah, but fair. other than that, no. That, okay, no, that's fair. No. Uh, I do not do this, and I don't have any kids, and it really kind of annoys the shit out of me. So this is uh, sore shit. I, I don't do this either mm-hmm. because you're not a parent. However, understand this. If you do have pets and you treat them as family, I, I like your pets better than I like most people's <laughs> kids, that's true. including that my own. That is true. Yeah. Um, 
This is true. Scotty has yeah, cool I, ass I dogs. like Scotty's dogs way better yep. than I like anybody's kids. Yep, mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. That's, that's and Scotty. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. All right. Next one. Real shit or horse shit. Yep. I pretend I am smoking when it's really cold outside. Well, yeah, ever since I was a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> of course, everybody yeah, does that. That's what I'm doing. That's this, <laughs> this frost breath smells like smoke, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> that's not real cigarette smoke. Yeah. I did figure out how to blow a smoke ring with Did breath. you? Yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. This that's is real shit. Wild. If you don't do this, you're you're a loser. Yeah. Oh, serious. What the hell? Come I do on. it once. Oh, and then you stop, and then you do it normally. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Real shit for everybody. Next one. Real shit or horse shit, I will still talk into a fan and do a Darth Vader of impression. Of course. Always. Our, absolutely. Every time, and our fans get really annoyed by it. <laughs> every, every time I meet one, I just go right into my Darth Vader, and I talk into them. Not to them, into them. <laughs> Tommy Boy has ruined my life forever. Yep. Every single time I, I see a fan and nobody's looking, especially <laughs> Luke, mm. Luke. Yep, hundred percent. I think all of my fans are ceiling, are which they? is a bitch to do that. <laughs> you got to get a ladder. They don't really spin fast enough to make <laughs> that work. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't need a ladder. I can jump. Oh, okay. I got ups. Cool. Uh, next one. Real shit or horse shit? I require the TV to be on when I go to sleep. What the fuck does Charles Barkley know about hockey? Uh, nothing, but All answer right. the have question. Have you seen his golf swing? Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I don't have to have the TV on, but I have to have something on. Like, I have to have whether it, normally it's a loud fan. I got to have something to, like, white noise, you know? That's pretty racist, but <laughs> I got to have something on. I got to have yeah. something going. I can't just go to sleep in the pitch okay. quietness, I guess. Or I definitely can't do that. For 100%. Yeah. But no, I, I I have to have the TV on playing something I've already seen before. I can't put on a new yeah, show. Yeah, like another I, I, episode of The Office. Yeah, you that's can't be it. concentrating that's, on yeah. the, no. the plot yeah. of the story. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I have the to weather have, channel. I have to have shit. The Office yeah. on. I have to have I have to have Friends on. I have yeah. to have Seinfeld. Yeah. Something yeah. I've seen before playing in the background. Yeah. And I, no bullshit, will wake up in the middle of the night after my wife wakes up in the middle of the night and turns it off. Mm. I will wake up and turn it the fuck back on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a prick. I don't give a shit. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Jeremy? Uh, I need to have it on. I got to drown out the sounds of her snores somehow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay, last one. Real shitter <laughs> horse shit. When my <laughs> uh, oh, I can't wait to hear this one. Uh. Real shitter horse shit. When my doctor asks how much I drink on a daily basis, I tell him the truth. Uh, so I made the mistake of doing that one time, <laughs> and, and I was like, I feel like I need to stop drinking so much. And he literally goes, you can drink alcohol every day. And I was like, no, I can't. <laughs> I don't think you understand. When I drink alcohol, it's not to be like, oh, I had a couple beers with my dinner. That was great. It's fucking zero to blackout or nothing at all. It's either water and tea or it's just fucking... Yeah, it's not good at all. Uh, it, it was a very strange conversation. Yeah. Just last week, I wound up rolled over in a fucking golf cart <laughs> <laughs> with my dick stuck in the seventeenth hole because it's drink, a tradition. I drink way too much, though. I drink. I've been drinking almost every day. Uh, well, you're not today, so good for you. No, I'm not. I got really fucked up yesterday. It was Father's Day, and I actually have children. Well, so. yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I drink so rare anymore that yeah, I'll tell them. I know. I it it I just don't anymore. Huh. This is horse shit. Moving on. Okay. Uh, now we get to move on good, to... Good explanation. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Not going to go there. Uh, but now we get to move on to a uh, growing and popular part of, of every single episode. This is uh, what we like to call Bad Advice with Jeremy. If you have any uh, anything that you would actually like to have some of the worst advice ever uh, from Jeremy Joseph, you can send mm-hmm. them to us at uh, Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram. We read uh, quite a few of them. Some of them are good. Some of them are shit. But you know what? We found one again this week and um this is coming from squeaky left dot b zero zero t so squeaky left dot boot 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, he writes, Dear Jeremy, I need some advice. I work as a bus driver in a large city in Canada with crime, drug use, violence towards drivers, and Karen's trying to constantly get drivers in trouble. I need some help to make sure when people get on my bus that they don't even try to start a conversation with me. I've tried what I feel is or what I've tried what I feel is everything, and I think advice from you is what I need to ensure that I am left alone. Okay, let me. I'm going to tell you a little something about when it comes to driving. Like European countries, a lot of them they drive on the other side of the road, and that pisses me off. But you know what I think pisses me off even more is that Canadians drive on the same side of the road as we do as though they're equals. <laughs> that makes me so mad. You don't get left or right, assholes. You pick a different side. <laughs> I don't know I don't know how you want to play that or maybe just go away. Um anyways, uh that being said, you're a Canadian bus driver. Um I'm going to be honest with you. It is hard for me to imagine rude Canadians. <laughs> Even even Canadian bus riffraff <laughs> has got to be incredibly polite, don't they? <laughs> I can't imagine them causing problems. Dropped your hair when eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you need me to melt that for you? <laughs> I got a, I got my spoon here. Uh, anyways, uh, where the fuck was that? Oh. <laughs> One way that I have found that you can uh, get people to not fuck with you is to adopt a uh, Eastern European accent. That makes people afraid of you. Mm -hmm. Get on bus (laughs) now. (laughs) You go at the back of bus or you get off bus. Start yelling shit out in some indecipherable language. That'll really make people not want to fuck with you. But, okay, let's address some of those topics uh, individually. There was, what, drug dealers, right? Yep. Uh, as soon as everybody walks in, just make them, let them see you, like, crush up an aspirin and snort a line of it. <laughs> uh, just let them know that they don't know what doing drugs really is all about. Um, or if you see people doing a drug deal on the bus, make up some really scary-sounding, like, crime boss and tell them that they own this fucking bus. Hey, this is Man Rape Manny's bus. <laughs> you work for him? He's the only one who deals drugs on this bus. You don't want him to come after him and walk around like you got a real sore asshole. Um, <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, let's see. As far as violence towards the drivers, um, I've noticed a lot of people in street fights now are being really influenced heavily by MMA stuff, which mm-hmm. they do a lot of ground and pound. So don't be afraid to piss yourself. Uh, <laughs> nobody wants mm-hmm. to tackle a guy covered in piss. Uh, so they aren't going to take you to the ground. That'll help you help them leave you alone. Um, also, you might want to like develop a uh, tolerance to tasers and maybe just tase yourself from time to time <laughs> just to show them what kind of a man you really are. Uh, somebody threatens you, put a gun to your own head and say, not if I get to it first. <laughs> um, because that's really what this is. This is a fucking race. Right. And also carry a crossbow. People do not fuck with people who I, carry I'll crossbows. I, I would 100%. never want to fight a guy who's carrying no. a crossbow. What was the next one? Uh, Karen's, right? Yep, Karen's. All right. So Karen's, um, I've always been a big believer in you fight crazy with crazy. You, you show her she doesn't know what the fuck, you know, crazy really is like if she starts giving you shit about something bring a set of tools with you and just start taking the fucking bus apart <laughs> hand it to her piece by piece hand her the fucking steering wheel and be like you want to fucking drive you want to fucking do this <laughs> convince her that you killed somebody and just took a bus driver's uniform um hand her a parachute <laughs> and tell her you can't go over 50 yeah just just because why not that'll really I mean, she's going to have to think about what's happening. And uh, last but not least, uh, don't be afraid to call her a faggot. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the, the best way, really, to shut a Karen up is to confuse them. And I don't know of any better way to do it than, you know, with a gay slur. So uh, That's June. It sure is. You know? Yeah, it is Pride Month. I Damn. mean... Hey, and, and if she tries to tell I'm not a man and I'm not gay, just be like, I didn't want to assume your gender. Now he's fucking racist and bigot. God. And then hand her the bus steering wheel. And uh, other than that, um, do all you can to get out of that miserable fucking country you're in. And uh, that's my advice. 
Oh, shit. Come down here where the buses are a lot nicer, Boom. I'm sure. Uh, yeah, that's that's true. JP would have actually approved of that uh, that comment, to be honest with you. Probably, yeah. He would have. Okay, well, thank you very much for uh, bad advice with Jeremy. Again, if you do have any suggestions, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines at Instagram. So thank you very much uh, to you, Squeaky uh, Squeaky Left Dot Boot. We appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Now we can move on to overrated or dot underrated. Boot. Yeah, dot boot. <laughs> <laughs> is that a thing? I Can I go so. to like Pornhub. Yeah. I think so. That's the that's the Canadian version of the sure. internet. <laughs> it's dot boot. Yeah, yeah. It's like, how did I get on this fucking Canadian show? I accidentally typed in dot boot. Not dot the, com. <laughs> how did I get to Canada? You, you just, came here on a the, dot boot. That's the Royal Canadian Mounted Police yeah. homepage. Yep. <laughs> It's about 15 miles north. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. So, first one. Mm-hmm. Overrated or underrated. Glitter bombs for people who try to steal your packages off of your porch. Underrated. They need to take the uh, take a little playbook out of the fucking um, gorillas from Iraq and use real fucking IEDs. Oh, my God. That's, that's what needs to happen. Because you blow a couple of these fucking meth heads up, and everybody else is like, shit. Yeah. Like, they're not, it's not. Same with catalytic converters. You just put a little TNT, like, in the muffler so they're fucking cutting through it, and then all of a sudden the whole fucking car blows up. I love explosives. I mean, sure, I really do. Fourth of July is coming up. Yeah. It is, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's good, man. Oh, that's Jesus. good. Yeah. yeah, this is way, way, way underrated. I've yeah. seen some where they have like glitter bombs, but then they also have like the sp- the fart spray that's in there yeah. too. Those are the fucking best. Yeah, if I'm stealing right. a package, the last thing I want to have happen is fucking Rip Torn just comes in throwing <laughs> fucking graffiti or f- that's, f- that's confetti, or whatever the fu- whatever the fuck his name is. Rip Damn. Torn was that's the just... actor. He was Z on uh, Men in Black. That's Rip Torn. Okay. Rip Ooh. Taylor was the o- overtly gay guy that threw confetti. Around. I liked him. Yeah. Well, he never actually said that he was gay, but I'm just gonna go ahead and assume <laughs> there, were, <laughs> there were clues. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. Yeah. Jeremy, so how about right. you, Jeremy? Uh, okay, I'm going to say overrated, but for the same reason that Steve gave, I'd like to see a little less glitter, a little more bomb. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, this is same really... with the bath bombs. Taking a package off somebody's fucking porch is like, you are such a fucking scumbag. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. You get what's coming to you. Yeah, it's 100%. great. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, prank wars with your spouse. Oh, those are underrated. Yeah. They're good. See, I uh, like I said, I like the explosives. So I have a bunch of <laughs> I have a bunch of bottle rockets, and every once in a while, my wife will be in the bathroom getting ready, and I'll just send one under the door. <laughs> It's fucking awesome, and Jeez. it gets her every single time too. <laughs> no, and it's weird because <laughs> she hears the the fucking like that. She hears that. She knows the boom is fucking coming. <laughs> I've got videos of it. I should post them. You it's should. Good. Yeah. You got. Uh, you got a TikTok, TikTok account. Yeah. They, no, they took my fucking videos down when I flashbang the kids in my house. <laughs> So it's, I don't know. They say it's fucking dangerous. I literally was up for 30 minutes. I was like, this is going to be the greatest video ever. And they fucking took it down. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay. So I un- unfortunately have one of those wives that you can't fuck with like that. Oh. Um, but like, That's boring. Little, little pranks are always fun. Uh, uh-huh. just, just little ones. It, it can't be big that like that. She'd fucking kill me. Okay. Jeremy, uh, this is, is, uh, what are we doing? Overrated? Yes. Uh, yeah, it's, it's way overrated. You don't want to do this with my wife. I don't know if you're familiar with the Japanese, but Pearl Harbor was a prank. <laughs> <laughs> Emperor Hi- Hirohito was like, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. And then we got him. And uh, <laughs> twice. <laughs> and it, 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 it it escalated. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it really. Yeah, we it, won that plant. We won that prank war it, handily. It got out of hand. I mean, they didn't just get. What, they got. What are pumped. you guys doing? <laughs> they got. They got pumped. Yeah, yeah that was more than a prank. Yeah, that, that was a that pump. Was bad. Yeah, that we, was bad. We were like, <laughs> got you back. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, next one. Okay. Overrated or underrated? Disney themed parties for adults. So fucking weird. <laughs> so fucking weird. <laughs> Yeah. Overrated as fuck. Isn't that what furries are? Kind of. Kind of. Yeah. You don't have to dress up as them. Just you know, go you, to go to a Disney theme party for adults. No. 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 
No, right. that Chris Hansen guy is going to walk in or whatever <laughs> at some point. It's not a good. That's not a good look. Uh, it's just not. Uh, yeah, it's it's overrated for me. I don't dress up. I do like to have fun. I mean, don't don't get me that's wrong. That's not what I heard, Scotty. Shut I up. heard you are anti fun. <laughs> no, I. I it, Scotty hangs out with Princess Peggy mm-hmm. at the fucking adult <laughs> Disney themed parties. <laughs> last, last time Scotty was at a party, a couple of people started dancing, and he just like tackled one of them. And, <laughs> no, no, no fun. Not here. Was, Saints a place. It's uh, a party. Yeah. I was Dwight Schrute. Uh, no, uh, the, it is overrated. I I do enjoy going to the movie theater if it, like a new cool Disney movie came like comes out. But yeah. other than that, I'm not going to a Disney fucking Disney theme themed party. orgy. Could be a party for adults. That's I guess true. that one might not be too bad. Fun. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I think you could still get <laughs> in trouble for Sleeping Beauty. That's yeah, uh, I think so too. She still needs <laughs> yeah. to give consent. I think uh, I think Snow White and the uh, Seven Dwarves would be kind of fun. I think sure. that was already a porn, wasn't it? Like that was, we kind of yeah. made it one, yeah. I think, didn't we? It's, so. it's more like Snow White and the Seven Dariuses, but yeah. other, other than that. I wonder it. which Disney movie has had the most porn parodies. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's, that's a, a good, good one. idea. Dude. I, I bet you it's got to be Seven Dwarves. Okay. Snow White and Seven Dwarves. Hold on. Be. Yeah, maybe. There are just so many chances for just railroading her i think this is going to be a topic next week i know i think this is going to be a draft for the end of this episode no oh fucking fine all right no. uh, all right, all right no. next one i don't want any fun scotty you're gonna get some fun mm-hmm. um overrated or underrated do I, do I get to go oh i thought you did no oh what what the, was, again again i'm the <laughs> fucking star of this goddamn show far right seat that's me okay this is the carson seat carson yep. yeah Actually, no, he would have been over there. I know. He's over here where I am. I'm in the McMahon. Okay. Um, How about you? He's in first panelist. Uh, Anyways, um, no, it's overrated. I don't need a fucking theme to go to a party. Okay. Just have a fucking party. (laughs) Okay. Have some drinks. Have some food. Party. Disney music playing in the background? I don't need music even. But if you're (laughs) going to have some, I would prefer not Disney music. Okay. All right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Getting drunk at your child's t ball game. Oh, I mean, it's very underrated. I've been getting drunk at my kid's baseball game since he played t ball right. up until last year. Mm-hmm. And it, it's, it's a bonding experience for all the other dads, too, especially <laughs> when you're the only dad that shows up with a Yeti full of fucking beer. Right. And like, well, what's that? Mm-hmm. You know? And it, it, I've, I've gotten some friends doing that. This is the sole reason why Yeti cups were invented. Yes. It's so you can make it look like you're drinking mm-hmm. something. Because nobody, nobody knows. Something else. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Especially you're when your kid comes running up and it's like, no, 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 don't drink that. Don't drink that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is underrated. Yeah. Jeremy? Uh, listen, I, I actually helped start a drinking game. A, Every time your kid gets an unassisted triple play, <laughs> you got a drink. Nice. It's a very uh, underused, in my opinion, okay. t-ball drinking game. But uh, no, I didn't realize there was another way to attend a t-ball game <laughs> when you're not yeah. playing. Touche. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's the and even if you, I I go to I don't know. 10, 12 games a year? Mm-hmm. I don't even have kids playing. Oh, I, nice. I just go watch because I'm such a fan when I drink. Yep. And then he goes to the adult Disney party. Sure. <laughs> Wacky Jeremy Well, I go again. there dressed up as Disney characters. It's creepy <laughs> yeah. for a lot of people. Right. Yeah. You risk going out in the fucking heat it's true. in a princess dress. You're dressed like the beast from Beauty and the Beast. Got that goddamn pen again. You got a fucking Yeti full of brass monkey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. I'm just a fan of the game. You know, I love the fundamentals. 84. Right. Uh, MVP. La- last, defensive. last one. Overrated or underrated? Watching a child embarrass themselves at a talent show. I'm a comic that goes to open mics. I watch this all the time. Uh-huh. It's fucking great. It's the best part of the whole thing. Yeah. It's awesome. I love it. It's amazing. So, this is actually really weird for me, but these are the kind of things that make me extremely uncomfortable. 
This should really? be this should be hilarious, but it's it not. I can't watch. I can't even watch American Idol when it was like what was the Asian guy that did the she bangs she, she William bangs. Hong uh, William Hong. That was so cringy for me. It, I couldn't fucking sit and watch it. Jeremy just before the show started got a fucking like prank call or a spam call trying to take his money, <laughs> and he was fucking with him for like ten minutes, and I had to go stand outside. I should but be that laughing. Guy deserves it. It's true. I know he does. Does, but I just, I, I just he is trying like, to uh, scam me. He is I trying know. to get, you know, my fucking contact information. I, I agree. Fuck um, that guy, but I can't be around. Okay. Um, here's the thing about the kids at the talent show. They don't know that they're embarrassing themselves. Mm-hmm. That if the person is not aware that they're embarrassing themselves, then they just, it's not really embarrassing themselves. Mm-hmm. Okay. They think they're great. Right. Okay. Uh, now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. We're going to zip questions through questions and questions. Questions and questions in Spanish. Apparently, this is my favorite subject, <clears throat> Steve. God damn it, Jeremy! If you don't grab that other fucking pen, I'm going to throw mine at you, and it's going to be into your eye. I can't squeak those when I twist them. I know, but you, and that's but why. But I want to squeak when I tw- I do a squeak and twist. No, I'll break your fucking Let's glasses. I I'm not wearing them. I know. I'll so break them just anyway. break. Listen. Everybody likes no. this. Oh, that's adorable. No, it's like a chipmunk. Sounds like a fucking chipmunk. Yeah. Fuck, fuck that's you. That's great. It's I like love two that. chipmunks fucking. I is. is there anything yeah. cuter than that? Oh, no, my God. Not at all. Just Jesus Christ. Grab the and blue it, pen. And it's it's chipmunk pride month, too. Jesus. So, I bet Alvin and the chipmunks was a fucking I bet porn you. Like <sighs> yeah. Several times. Okay. I bet you that chubby little fucking Theodore. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> He went from chick monk to bear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. First question. Uh, this is from a fan. This is uh, mm-hmm. at Insidious20. Okay. Here we go. He wants to know a rejected name for a Disney princess. Hmm. Where are we? Right there. We're on. Uh, We're on questions and previews. I, I no, got, I mean physically. Where are you? <laughs> I, I got my There's a lot of stuff about Disney today. This is uh I don't know, man. Uh, uh I got I, I had selected P, but okay. Okay. <laughs> but we'll do this one. All right. <laughs> we'll we'll come up with something on the fly, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I had done the one above that one. Okay. Oh. I, I got one. I got one. <sighs> Go for it. Roofied Rebecca. Oh. AKA Snow White. There we go. Not Sleeping Beauty, huh? No. I had one for Snow White too. That's okay. You can do it. Princess Bukaki. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about you, Jeremy? I I would go with Sleeping Skanky. <laughs> <laughs> she was a huge whore, huh? Oh, mm-hmm. Okay. That's that's fair enough. Just Jezebel. Like <laughs> okay. Uh, next one. This is another fan question. This is uh, at Cali underscore B35. There we go. They want to know, rejected WNBA team names. Well, Imus would say the nappy-headed hoes, uh-huh. but uh, I don't know. I wonder. Uh, yeah. I mean, you remember that, right? Yeah, I do. That yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I felt like that wasn't a good name. No. What about the uh, What about the Dallas Deep Throaters? I I mean, everything's bigger in Texas. You kind of have to. Here's the thing: is I don't think a lot of them are into dick. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Happy Pride Month, everybody. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. The, uh, I don't know, the Minnesota Strap-On. <laughs> okay. I mean, that was probably a rejected name. That's, that's got to be a cold fuck, doesn't <laughs> it? Yeah. yeah. They put it in the freezer. Sure they do. Jerry? They don't have to. Yeah, they don't. Uh, I don't watch any WNBA. Uh, nobody that, fucking does. I know, that that's have, the I know that they have horrible parades. <laughs> <laughs> Victory parades. There's like seven people that showed up. That's exactly right. Jeremy? I hope the, I one, have ga- one, I hope the I one gal gets released from Russia, though. I, I will say that. I'm, I don't know where I've heard this, but I know I heard it somewhere, so I hate to say it, but I think it's a great name for a women's team of any kind. The Seattle Sea Hairs. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with the rags. Okay. There you go. All right. I like it. That's, That's uh, the Rockefeller. They sync up. Rockefeller rags? The Rockefeller. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, Rockford. <laughs> Rockford. Rockford, Rockford Rock- Maryland. Okay, Come on. That's fine. That, that seems, that's a perfect town <laughs> for is. a WNBA team. They are the right population. There's nothing else happening there. Just Rockford, Maryland. How about rag. Raleigh? How about Raleigh? Like North Ra- Carolina? Yeah, why not? Raleigh rags. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's pretty okay. good. Or Rhode yeah. Island. You know, yeah. we can just keep going all over. Oh, the, the Rhode Island rags. Yeah, that's there we fucking go. great. Okay. That's a Raleigh rag seems like right a toy hippies would play with. It's like a hacky sack. 
<laughs> Get your hacky sack and your Raleigh rags, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. All right, moving on. Uh, next one. What is one thing that everybody can agree on? What? Women are crazy. Yeah, I agree with that. Duh. Uh, Steve? Uh, I I don't know. I didn't have time to prepare. Uh, one thing that everybody can agree on. It's fucking hot in Wichita, Kansas <laughs> right now. Well, not, I don't know. It's like 103 again. I'm sure there's some people that live in the Mojave that are like, you fucking bitches. No, they're dumb. They chose to do that. <laughs> I'm, I'm here against my will. Right. I talk about it extensively. <laughs> <laughs> there's a gun under the desk. So. Yeah, yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, Frankenberry and Booberry should be around all year. <laughs> all right. We'll go with that. I agree with that. Okay. Why does Count Chocula get to hang out? All year round. I mean, he's a fucking vampire. <laughs> he's, you know, well, the other's a ghost, the and a, the other didn't mean to be made. He's fucking pure evil in chocolate form. Uh-huh. That's true. Hey, have, I got another one. No, you don't. Especially if we're going to go that route. What? Captain Crunch should have his eye uh, his eyebrows reattached to his fucking head. I think they, I mean, that's something that needs to happen. See, I feel like the Crunch Berries should be seasonal. I don't think they should always Yeah, be there should be a crunch berry yeah. season, like yeah. at the farmer's market. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you guys ever have that crunch berry salsa? <laughs> Ro- roast duck with a crunch berry salsa. It's, it's one of my favorite things that I get. Great. Of course, my, my wife always thinks it's too cold whenever we get to the fucking <laughs> Of course she does. Restaurant. She's got to complain about something while she snores. Nice. Anyways, last one. What is something you spent way too much money on, but you don't regret it at all? Drones. Really? Yeah, I've got about $5,000 invested in drones. And it's worth every penny? I love them. Okay. Oh, they're so fucking amazing. You can spy on your neighbors. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. I love it so much. And it has like a two-mile radius on it, so I can just stand in my driveway, and I bought this big thing that my iPad goes on, mm-hmm. and it's just like, oh, dude, it's fucking amazing. I love it so much. Can wow. you love them. Can you ride on it? We have a deep, no, I wish you could. I don't know. Maybe we get enough of them put together. <laughs> but uh, I have a DJI Mavic Pro, which was fucking ridiculous expensive. And then I have a Mavic Pro Mini. And then I bought an Altel drone, which has an 8K camera that zooms. Mm. Uh, and it is the only drone I have that doesn't have geofencing. So like the DJI drones all have geofencing. So if you're in like a restricted area or whatever, it, it won't let you go. But all tells like, yeah, fuck it. You just <laughs> fly into that helicopter. It'll be perfectly fine. Nice. Yeah, it's good. Good shit. I love it. Yeah. It's so awesome. Until you fly it into that helicopter. Exactly. Um, well, it's just life watch. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. The guy was already sick to fucking begin with. Right. So. All right. Um, mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, this sucks. Mine, mine's actually a real one. Um, I, I'm one of those people mine's like. Real? Yeah, yeah, drones are real, Scotty. Oh, <laughs> Birds are not. I have, I, I have, I have no joke. I have no joke with this. It, it would be my wedding. I so had a, it's like I, normal. Yeah. I exactly 100. percent But uh, no, it'd be my wedding. I had a, I had an excellent time. We spent a shitload of money on it. Oh um, no no no! This is but you don't regret I at don't, all. I don't being don't, the key don't. word. Oh okay. All yeah. right. Sorry. No, I don't regret anything. Uh, that was by far the best day of my life. Uh, my wife looked absolutely gorgeous. We had she an excellent there. time. Okay. Well, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, family. Fun. The family that we really cared about were there. Best friends. It was it was an excellent time. And uh, still this day, best day of my life. So that's my that's mine. That's my real one. That's a pretty gay answer. Shut the fuck what up. What do you got? Uh, well, a, a black market box of booberry. <laughs> nice. And, um, <laughs> nice. Oh, boy, that was a lot of fun. Uh, probably my fuck shower. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even though you're not fucking in it. it even uh, most of the time, it's not an actual fuck shower. <laughs> but it's a sit and it, jerk it, off it's, shower. It's just a sit there and get poured on by three different heads of fucking shower. I love it. And uh, got a fucking body jet that comes out of the wall that's right at butthole height. <laughs> and... It's it is by far the most lavish and luxurious thing that I've ever <laughs> bought for any real reason, and I use it every fucking day, and I love, I love the fuck out of it. Wow, you don't it. even need to wipe. No, no, but I do because I'm not a fucking you just animal, go Scotty. Stand in the shower. 
<laughs> All right. Well, that is uh, questions and preguntas. Again, if questions you have any questions. Suge- <laughs> questions and questions in Spanish. Uh, but if you do have any of those, uh, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on Instagram or our TikTok, which is also at Laughing on the Sidelines. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is our Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, Derek um, won uh, over this last week uh, as far as the favorite appetizers. You guys are fucking old people on Facebook. Uh, but Jeremy, or Derek's not here, so uh, we're going to give uh, Steve the, um, uh, what do you call it? The, the first pick. The first pick. First pick. Yeah. And uh, I got second, so I'm going to take the uh, second pick. And uh, Jeremy came in dead last, so he gets uh, – I'm sorry. Uh, he gets yeah, the I middle pick. Second. Jeremy gets the middle picks. I get the championship picks. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, this week's draft is going to be our favorite science fiction movies because Derek doesn't watch any of those. He wouldn't have won. I'm sure he would have somehow. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, uh, Steve, you get the first uh, pick for your favorite science fiction movie. Very easy pick. Okay. Number one pick is Spaceballs. Spaceballs. Uh, that's some shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm going to go with... Uh, uh, it's my turn. Oh, that's right. I keep Jack on mixing it up. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know it. you do. No, it's because I know which one you're going to take, and I'm pissed about it. Go ahead. And you said as long as we... If it's in a franchise, if we take that's, one, the franchise is out, That's right? correct. The franchise right. is out. Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, of course. Uh, that, yeah, of course. I would have just picked Star Wars, but that's beside the point. No, Empire Strikes Back is... That's a good one. Uh-huh. That's probably one of the best ones. Sure. I like the middles of every... Trilogy. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. I've I've got a couple that I want to hang on to. There's a, uh, but there's a couple that I don't think will get back to me. So I'm going to start off with uh, the Matrix. Okay. Yeah. That was decent. Uh huh. But it gets complex, and Matrix it, it really, Four especially. It really, really does. Have, have you watched Matrix Four? No. Oh boy. I heard it was shit. It is. Such shit. I'm not. I'm, that's why I haven't watched. It's it. I don't its own want to. breed of mutant shit. Yeah, it's sci-fi shit. It's it's such shit you can't believe it's real. <laughs> well, it's because it's not. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go with one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm gonna go with Back to the Future. Oh, it's adorable. Uh, that's the, that's a cute. That's movie. A, fuck, I didn't think about that. I didn't yeah, either. No. That is fucking adorable. I didn't think it'll get back to me, so I went with it. Uh, all right, Jeremy, go for it, dude. Back to the Future 2. <laughs> you yeah, can't. Because you took Star Wars, you piece of shit. I took Empire Strikes Back. I know. What the you know, if I had just said Star Wars, I would have, you know, gotten, you know, in A New Hope, Scotty. That's mm-hmm. what that one's actually called. Uh, sh- of course you would. Um, oh, fuck. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go with First Man, you know, about the Apollo 11 landing, because that's bullshit, because they showed the moon being browned, <laughs> and we all know the moon is flat. It is true. It is totally flat. flat. First Man, you said, huh? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm going to go with um, one that I really do like, The Martian. Okay. I really there you like go. That that's movie. actually pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. I don't know if it's my second favorite of all time, but it's uh, one I could think of Okay. to not hold the show up. All right. Steve, you get two in a row, dude. Weird Science. Oh, all right. And I don't know what the name of it is, but that Tom Cruise movie where the aliens come down and they basically drink our water like us going to Mexico and they get the shit. Oh, War of the back. Worlds? Yeah, War of the War. Uh, World. War, 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 yep, that one. That one? Yeah. yeah. Orson Welles? <laughs> that's actually a yeah. prequel to Top Gun. Is what Top Gun Maverick? That's a prequel to that. Nice. No, it's a prequel right. to the original Top Gun. But that's, oh, is that what? That's, oh, okay. That's, that's what made him join the Navy. Yeah. That's literally the fucking movie. Like yeah, the yeah, aliens yes. drink our water and they yes. get the shits and we, they die. We were totally defenseless against them except for our microorganisms. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Great. Cool. I love it. Jeremy, go for it. Oh fuck. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want I want that just to be the end of the draft. <laughs> okay, all right. I mean, come on, uh, ET. Oh, uh, okay. That's a very good one. That is a very, very good one. Well, then I don't want it anymore. Uh, like well, it 
Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, I've got two, so I may, do I need to take my, nope, I don't need to take that one. Okay, I'm going to take uh, Terminator 2. Mm-hmm. Judgment Day? Judgment Day. Mm, there yeah. you go. Yep. Terminator 2. Electric Boogaloo. That's right. Mm-hmm. And then I, uh, I don't give a fuck at this point. I do not. Give a fuck. These That's are, not even a movie, Scotty. No, no. These are now going to be my favorite ones, and I don't care. I don't care. I'm going to get so much shit for this, but I am going to take the fifth element. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Super green. Hmm. All right. I, uh, I don't care. Is it, is it my turn? Jeremy, no, it's right? Jeremy's turn. Okay. I'm going to go with Star Trek First Contact. Okay. And then now uh, you get your last two there, Steve. I am going with Coneheads. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean that that was fiction? Yeah, <laughs> yeah this is not and, real. Uh, That's a documentary, dude. Uh, what the fuck is the one? Uh, Total Recall. Okay. Which one? Total Recall. The new one or the, the Schwarzenegger old one? or the Colin Farrell? The Schwarzenegger. Thank you. Of okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeremy, last pick. God damn it. Don't you take mine. If you take mine, I'll be so pissed. I oh, guarantee you I'm it. not going to. <laughs> I am not going to. Predator. Okay. Oh, all right. That's all right. Pretty good. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. I, I do have good. some honorable mentions, especially. Oh, really. there's so many fucking honorable yeah. mentions. This is a yeah. very broad topic. It is. It is. I mean, oh, fuck. I, How I'm, did I forget I'm, this I'm one? not going to do it. And I, I know I should, except, especially the most recent one that came out is, is absolutely awful. But Jurassic Park, I'm not going to do it. I don't. I, I just don't want it. Even though it was great. The first t- one, two, well, one was great. Mm-hmm. Two sucked. Three was, I liked, but. This most recent one I was just way too fucking complex. Did you watch it? Uh, I, I heard from a very reliable source, and he has told me, do not go and watch I've it. I've heard it's awful. Yeah. I've, I've heard that multiple times. Yeah. It is absolutely it, awful. They were trying, I loved it. They were trying, like, nostalgia so much, and they were trying to have too many plot yeah. lines at the same time that nobody could I've follow. heard that Jeff Goldblum is, like, the only saving grace in it, though. Oh. Mm. But you said you did know. go and see it? No. Oh. Well, I've heard it was awful. But I loved it. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Um, I think it's way better if you don't see it. Right. I think you're right. Uh, uh, Alien is obviously up there as far oh, as yeah. honorable mention. Yeah. Aliens uh, was better. Aliens was mm-hmm. better. Yeah. Um, but I am going to go with a total Homer pick. And uh, again, I'm going to get laughed at and I don't care. But I'm going to go with Armageddon. Hmm. That's pretty good, actually. Dude, that was a pretty good it, movie. It really was good. That is the biggest fear that I have. That is my number one all-time fear is that a... Is going is, up to blow up a space rock? No, that an asteroid's coming to hit Earth. And, I don't, really? Why yeah. are you afraid of that? You can't do anything about it if it is. That's exactly yeah. why. And they won't <laughs> tell you about it. They won't. Know. You'll just wake up. Well, you won't wake up. You won't up, wake up. You'll just be smushed you'll, one day. You'll like see an ant. a yeah. flash of light. Maybe. And that's it. And Maybe. that's it. And yeah. that's it. But yeah, did you have any good honorable mentions? Oh, Ghostbusters. How did I Ghost- know? Oh, Ghostbusters oh, is a good yeah. one. Yeah. Um, all of the fucking Star Wars movies. Uh, Mad, What's the, uh, Mad Max, Waterworld. Mad Max. Okay, this most recent one, Fury Road, I think was the most recent one, mm-hmm. left me with so many like fucking questions. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. And <laughs> why? <laughs> 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 like, have you ever seen the fr- the original Mad Max? Yeah. Like, not the Road Warrior, but the Mad Max, the 1970s Mel Gibson. Where they were in a cage thing? No, that's that's Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Oh, okay. That's the third one okay. in the trilogy. Wow, okay. This one, it's like, takes place in a world that's not too different from the real world that was going on at the time. They're, it's kind of dystopian, like after mm-hmm. there's been a big war. Yeah. But it's not fucking weirdos in big masks with hoses from their tits giving milk to fucking weird gagoffs <laughs> and diapers. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like idiocracy deserves a fucking That definitely honor. deserves I one. Too. I am so upset that because of Fury Road that I don't get to go everywhere with a guy with a huge amplifier on the front of my car <laughs> playing fucking electric guitar everywhere sure. that I go. Sure. Uh, I also thought of the the really famous one with Will Smith and uh, Chris Rock we found out last week, which is uh, the end of, or Independence Day, the first one. 
Yeah, um, that's he was the alien, wasn't he? Yeah, Chris Rock yeah. was yeah. the welcome was the to Earth. Well, yeah. Welcome to Earth. Yeah, but yeah, no, there's tons of them. Uh, but again, if you would like to vote uh, on your favorite list of uh, our favorite sci-fi movies, you can go to Facebook.com/slash. That's a hard list to do, man. It's it a really, really is. well. Yeah, it's, it's such really a broad tough. topic. You could go on, yeah. I was going to say, and, you and go some on people can't while, differentiate then. between science fiction and fantasy, like Star yeah. Wars. Yeah, up until the prequels, uh-huh. was actually considered fantasy. Oh, and really? then they went into that whole thing about the metachlorians. Oh, okay. So now there's a scientific explanation. It's oh, not magic oh. anymore. Yeah. Now there's science behind it, and that makes it science well, fiction. Well, there's another one, too, that, that I couldn't do just because it's, it's actually secretly a real thing, but that was uh, Lincoln versus Dracula. So, mm. Oh, yeah. you can't, you Abraham can't Lincoln do, Vampire Hunter? Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah, you can't do that one. Where he's, yeah. for some reason, picks the clumsiest fucking <laughs> weapon possible. That <laughs> Big heavy fucking axe, <laughs> not a sword or a gun, a gun, which they had back then. No, let's <laughs> get a fucking axe. Chopping down the cherry tree. Yeah. Not like a battle axe. Yeah, like a regular, regular fucking chop wood chopping lumberjack axe. Yeah. Chop uh, but anyways, down vote the fucking cherry. Vote tree. for your favorite list at Facebook.com/slash Laughing on the Sidelines. But now we get on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines mm-hmm. shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer mm-hmm. and Legos. Uh, yeah, that's right, Scotty. Um, I know you like to ski, right? I snowboard, but yeah. We'll, we'll call it skiing. Okay. That's just one ski mm-hmm. on both feet. Um, well, uh, on March 9th of 1976, at the Italian ski resort of Cavalese, uh, near in the uh, Dolomite mountain range, mm-hmm. um, the, uh, there was a cable car that went up to a nice uh, plateau that, where people could go and get a very nice view. And uh, apparently the support cable overlapped with the, uh, the pull cable and sheared off, causing a cable or a car to fall 200 fucking feet <laughs> with 46 people on board. Um, Holy shit. N- once it fell... It still continued to run, so the pull cable kept dragging it along the fucking ground and wound up dragging it into the fucking river. Uh, 43 people died. Yeah, three, <laughs> three people fucking survived that shit. <laughs> One of them went on to testify against the, uh, the company who is responsible for the safety of maintaining the the safety of the cable cars and uh later on went on to die of some severe illness so we'll call it 44 (laughs) i I like to think it was just the strain of that fall is what did it (laughs) but now your child can uh, recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and legos legos i don't speak italian All right. All right. Well, ladies that and gentlemen, adorable. this week's... Look out below. <laughs> yeah. This week's uh, Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather be in a situation to where you have to take a shit and you are either going to shit out a long steak knife mm-hmm. or... Serrated, right? Uh-huh. Serrated all the way down. That's right. Yeah, or... A uh, non. Stop. I can only get so hard at this moment. <laughs> Jesus. Or a non lubricated basketball. Oh, <laughs> this is. That's rubbing the prostate. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is Just awful. so much coming. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, I. Whew, I think you're getting torn either way. At this mm, point, mm. so I am gonna go with the one that probably is gonna take the least amount of time, and that's gonna be a steak Basketball. knife. Oh yeah, <laughs> <You know? laughs> no, one hard push. It's like ripping yeah. off a bandaid. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a pretty virgin butthole. I, I think I'm shitting the steak knife too. I mean, they can, you know, it's like put a couple extra stitches in there, like women when they get sewn back up. I can have a super tight little butthole, and while you're back there, bleach the motherfucker too. 
It'll be brand new. It'll be squeaky and perfect. I, and now I just want to shit a steak knife. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, what does Jeremy say? Yeah, Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy goes with basketball. And I'll, <laughs> okay. I'll okay. tell you why. Either one's going to do damage to your beehole that's going to need surgical repair, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll still shoot hoops with that basketball. <laughs> that's I, true. I'm not going to use that fucking steak knife. That, there's, that's oh, just I wasteful. Am. That's I just what I don't care how much you wash it. I know where that came from. I would never in good conscience be able to fucking eat a steak with that steak oh, knife again. Oh, you just give it to your guests. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You ever have like a father-in-law that comes over to your house? You know? <laughs> it's true. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> It, it, here's the thing is I he makes me cut up his meat for him. Like, <laughs> I'm not saying he's a pain in the ass, but uh, yeah. well, the trick question to this whole ordeal was how does the steak knife and the basketball get in there? You can't eat them, so that's got to be you got roofied at a Disney seen, party. <laughs> you've seen these fucking TV shows where people yeah. eat couches and shit all the time. That's I bet they true. eat this. What that's if you true. could chew up a basketball and eat it and then shit it out whole? <laughs> yeah, your stomach awesome. could fucking repair and reassemble yeah. a basketball. Yeah, that's yeah. but that, nothing that's else. Amazing. Only a basketball. <laughs> Only basketballs <laughs> and inflates them. Oh, that'd be great. Jesus, that's fucking amazing. That All would right. be great. Well, guys, uh, thank you very much for listening to another amazing episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines pos- podcast. We sincerely mm-hmm. do appreciate it. I want to thank uh, Steve Peters for coming on again. Um, you got any uh, comedy shows coming up anytime soon here, Steve? Uh, the 24th, I am headlining a show at the Big Arbor. I don't know what the fuck that is. And June 29th through July 2nd, I will be at the Looney Bin in Oklahoma City. I'll be goddamn. I'm down there with Mike Baldwin. I fucking love that guy. He's oh, that's an amazing awesome. comic. He's that's awesome. awesome. How about you, Jeremy? Any, any shows? I got a live show October the 22nd at Vorshay's <laughs> Lounge. <laughs> God damn right. I don't know who the other two fucks that are going to be doing it with me are, but I know I'll be there. Yeah. And and I will be drinking that day. Uh, Nice. I'm sure you are. We all will. Uh, Do check uh, check that out. People need to show up. Don't do not fuck this up for me. (laughs) It's my one last fucking (laughs) chance to be a star. Uh, but you can check out uh, tickets for that particular show on, uh, well, pretty much on, on Facebook. Buy them. Uh, yeah, Don't buy, just check them don't out. Don't check them out. Buy them, but yes. only buy them if we you can like go. We all like looking at tickets. but Yeah, but only buy them if you can go. Obviously, we want as many people to be there uh, as we can, but we also want a lot of you who are actual listeners. That's the most important thing. You guys are going to get the inside jokes. You're going to appreciate it more. Mm-hmm. Keep the people that are off the street. Tell them to stay the fuck outside. Uh, but we sincerely do appreciate everything that you guys do. Keep on doing what you're doing. Share the TikToks. Tag your friends in it. Uh, like them. Uh, do all that stuff. That's what helps the podcast grow. And as always, guys, do us a favor. If you like us and tell your friends, but if you don't like us. I hope somebody puts crazy glue on your earbuds and then blares Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. In space, no one can hear you scream. (laughs) Until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care.